Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Platinum playthrough today. Last time, we uh, beat up the the gym gym, the fighting gym. <laughs> Somehow overcame the slightly scary glass cannon Lucario. And uh, then I mostly just... I guess we did fight a little bit of Galactic, but Looker was like, Ah, we do not have the key. Uh, and that was basically it. Uh, hey, Neon, I'm just waiting for that treasure bag for my Chimchar plush to be done. Ah, hope it comes out nice for you. But I did a little bit of grinding off stream. But before we do anything, we're going to go to Flight of Ailstone so that we can give Shine another massage. Because if I want an Umbreon, I'm going to have to really speed up his appreciating my existence meter. Dang it, I almost made it there without crashing into anything. Then again, if somebody just rode on in on a bicycle to your home, you'd think it would be a, be a little weird. Like, why'd you just crash down on my, crash down my door? <laughs> Found the determination. Somehow. I don't even know what it looks like. And I guess we're gonna go... Uh, I attempt to be... Because I think Crasher Wake should be the gym leader here. I could be completely wrong on that front, come to think of it. I just assumed. But I guess... Oh yeah, we also went through the Great Marsh. Ever so slightly. Apparently they're planning on... <laughs> Team Galactic is planning on bombing it. Or something. Horrifying that. Howdy there. Let me examine your Pokemon to see if it's worthy of a scarf. Hmm, I see. This isn't what I'd hoped to see. I can't lie to you. I'll just have to tell it to you straight. This Pokemon's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just so-so. If you want to improve this one's condition, feed it more Poffins. Well, you're a jerk, aren't you? Why aren't you in France if you're going to be so hoity-toity? My brother's girlfriend is, uh, is the massage girl in Veilstone City. They stay in touch by having Pokemon hold mail for each other. They don't even meet up. Like, they are one route away from each other. They just don't meet up. You're just like a totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you, he was very close with his Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me smile. This might put a smile on your face, dressing a, a Pokemon with this Tortwig mask. <laughs> All right, interesting. Some trainers deliberately prevent their Pokemon from evolving. They wait until the Pokemon levels up and learn certain moves. Which is an interesting thing, but at the same time, I never partake in that mechanic. I'm not smart enough to strategize around that. Plus, you never know how if that's a good thing to do or not, and when to stop, unless you actually look up the learn tables. Pastoria's gym leader is awesome with his water attacks. Yep, it's him. You'll know what I mean when you challenge him. I probably should have leveled up Amp more. In the Great Marsh, quick trams on the rails are used for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. Doesn't that mean that you would have to destroy a little bit of the ecosystem to make the trams first? Though the name says quick, their movements are anything but. They're the quick trams that... Oh, yeah, I think we're... Uh, didn't I already talk to you? Or did I talk to somebody like that? It's like... Oh, they... They say they're fast, but they're not. I shall pick these Nana berries, I guess. Are they like inverse bananas? Do you eat the outside but leave the inside? Although some people say you should eat the banana peel. I can't use the hidden move surf until I beat the local gym leader. Who made that rule, I wonder? Here where I'm standing, I'm smack dab in the middle of town. Doesn't feel like it, but I'll take your word for it. I have to go to Sol... I've, is that a hard C or a soft C? Solosian Town for my big brother. The newspaper there gives me hard scales for running errands. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Move Maniac. I prefer Move Tutor. I know every move that Pokemon can learn while they're leveling up, and I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach you Pokemon... Uh, move, teach a move to your Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it if you trade me a hard scale. If any of your Pokemon needs to learn a move, come back with the hard scale. 
Meanwhile, in the Pokemon Dun Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe, you just have to give them money. Try the Safari game. We did. Have you been to the Pokemon Mansion? It's on Route 212. The owner of Mr. Backlot likes to brag about his herd of rare Pokemon. We're probably going to go there at some point. I'm just talking to everybody before I go to beat up the gym. Hey, have you caught both the female and male forms of Combi? I don't even think I've ran into Combi because I haven't bothered to put honey on a tree yet. If you have, I want to see both of them together. I'll give you a macho brace if you do that for me, deal? The Pokemon Combi is quite interesting. Only the female evolves and grows strong. The male does not. Come to think of it, my wife was awfully strong too. She evolved from my bride to the mother of our kids. That just made me think. It's a little bit odd that Pokemon has made two Pokemon that are like that. Vespa Queen and Salazzle, where only the female version evolves into a greater Pokemon. Eh, interesting. The Great Marsh keeps the weather cool in the summertime. This is a good town for water-type Pokemon. I'm gonna guess it's not going to be once uh, Team Galactic starts throwing bombs. I study rare Pokemon that appear only in the Great Marsh. You're gonna man up a job soon. I've been hiking all around the Sinnoh region. I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too. Please plant it somewhere. I will never do that. Because I'm never gonna go back to check the bushes. My sister gathers berries every day. Please come visit again. We cook the berries too. We mix them up. They're yummy. My Arceus, imagine getting a shiny... <laughs> Imagine getting a shiny male combi. And then you won't get a shiny Vespa Quinn. That would be mean. Well, I guess for this, we should probably try to level up Amp quite a bit. Of course you're gonna be here. Right as I put Amp in front... Whoops! <laughs> I'm not always gonna apply to you every time we meet. You've done that like four times now. So how's it going, Neon? Buffing up your Pokemon in. I'll test you in your Pokemon out, see how buff the <laughs> how tough you are. Well, I guess uh, this will be the perfect time to level up my Pokemon. Why do you only have four? Well, you, you've made a poor decision. Or maybe I made the poor decision. I really should have leveled up my Pokemon more. I guess I can put the XP share on some of them. Because some of them are decently leveled. Please hit the first one before he double teams away. Aha! Get nuked! And you're gonna survive, aren't you? Of course you are. And then you get a double team again. Hmm. Well, that's kind of mean. But at least you're gonna die now. Your double team did nothing, and I'm happy for that. Only I'm allowed to use double team. It's the law. Level up for Am. And about to send in your Ponyta. Then we should probably send in Lancelot to bubble beam him to death. Ba 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 ba. Oh yeah, he also learned brine while we were doing our grinding. It's basically the same power as Bubble Beam, but if they have you're a you you're a bitch. But if they have just a bit less uh health, like uh, less than half health around about, then uh it does like double damage. He's actually using strategy and swapped out his Pokemon before it died. Sorry about this, but Aerial Ace! Super effective him to death. I'm gonna have to super effective him to death before he gets his defense too high. A 
Of course you get a fucking critical hit, you bastard. Your first, like, real attacking move. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna critical hit you. Yeah, of course you are. You bastard. See? That's what you were supposed to do this entire time. The funny thing is, during my grinding, I got so many critical hits. It was am I never got critical hits when I won them. I'll level up for Nova. I guess we'll send out Charm to leech some experience from this Ponyta that's about to die. I'm also refusing my Grovile evolution. At least that one makes sense, because Grovile is amazing. He is a good boy. He needs to live on so he can th be a big old good thief man. Hmm, agility. Would that be good for me? It raises speed, but... User relaxes and lightens its body to move faster. It sharply boosts the speed stat. But I'm not too sure, like, what speed does aside from make you go first. Sometimes, and dictates if you can run away or not. I'm just gonna uh, keep what I have. Because foresight's good. Quick attack's good and everything. Fusel. Hey, Indigo. I probably also should have leveled up Indigo, too, because then Indigo's Magical Leaf would have come in handy. Yeah, I can see you race your Pokemon to be tough! What even is Swift Swim? Oh, you're gonna die in one hit, aren't you? Ah, you survived! Goody-goody! Magical Leaf! And we don't want you to die. Who are we going to send out? Hmm, Lancelot. I think you were close to leveling up, were you? Yeah, let's send in Lancelot. <gasps> we'll use Brine on him for fun. While you're beating up your best friend's Pokemon, remember to stay hydrated. Drink your tea. And that was going to be a critical hit too? Bastard. Get Brined. Get Brined on. I just realized he could have used Pursuit while I was swapping out. Get brined on, idiot. Oh, I didn't even level up. That Buzel gave so little. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? You did. Oh, okay. Oh, evolution time. At least Amp is evolving just in time for the water gym. That is probably going to be very, very evil. Luxray time. Congratulations, your amp evolved into a Luxray. She can now lead the amp planes. Okay, more evolution, sure. Okay. I thought you evolved at level 36. Actually, come to think of it, I, I almost was like getting myself into the mindset that Staravia never did evolve. What? Just kind of buried my mind just going all the place. Star Raptor. Close combat. Is that worth it? Let's see. What is close combat? 120! And it's a fight one. The user fights the foe in close combat without guarding itself. It also cuts the user's defense and special defense. It gives it more... Hmm. Lowers defense, though. Uh, yes, learn close combat. Then I guess we're gonna get rid of quick attack. It's just that it's the because it, it, it is 100% accuracy. So if accuracy gets lowered, bleh. But 120 power is good. That's literally aerial ace, and it also gives me super effective against uh, things that are weak to fighting. So 
sure, we'll lose quick attack. Because I'm not going to lose double or, like, double team or aerial ice. Those are just too good. And, oh, and Lapun! Okay! Sure! Okay! About time! Out of all of them, I'm surprised that you're the one doing it. And I forget, like, if your, if your type changes at all. Wants to learn agility! Again! I don't quite care for it. Maybe that was the game telling me I really should. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That, uh, that even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. Is that the only reason you joined him as an apprentice? I'm going to assume that you also want to fight me, and I guess a different person comes here each day to fight. Okie doke. Now, now, now I'm curious. If Charm, Nova, and Amp all were one level away, I'm curious now. I want to know. We're gonna grind a level up for <laughs> Indigo. And then finish off the level for Lancelot. Idle Grace. <laughs> Cute charm. Confuse it to death. Well, then I'll just use Magic Leaf so that your evasion means nothing. Get magical leaf throwing star die I put your level one <laughs> it never misses you're like me like I was against the ghost lady thinking like why is this hitting me my evasion is up so much because it always hits it's unavoidable it's magic I know it will and then Lancelot, at least, because he's actually on the cusp of evol well, leveling up. And considering the trend, probably evolving too. And it was just another Clefairy anyway. Bubble Beam. And you also use Minimize, huh? Maybe I'll have to... Sw nope, never mind. Your minimize did nothing. All you did was try to minimize, idle. Were you just here to try and waste my time? And uh, 100, uh, 100 health time. Ouch, are you one of those loyal fans? You sure are rowdy. And, of course! Hey, Shine, you wanna, you wanna evolve next? <laughs> Lancelot solos Arceus. I don't think so, not yet, because I think Arceus is like level 80. Then again, he should be like level 100, all things considered. I like how Pokemon just stop evolving when you hit B. Oh uh, Yeah, I wonder what the in-universe reason for that is. Ooh, Aqua Jet, that thing that Buzel already knows. At least let's give it a shot. What is Aqua Jet? 40 power, user lunges at the foe at high speed that makes it almost invisible, it is sure to strike first. Because <sighs> hmm. it just... Aside from the striking first thing, there's just not a lot to it. <laughs> it's the mighty prideful penguin Empoleon. Indeed he is. I don't think I'm going to get Aqua Jet, because Brine is good for finishing off foes, yeah, with like... A, about half health. Bubble Beam is a nice standard attack. Metal Claw is just a thing to have for like type dif like differences, and so is Pound. And like Aqua Jet isn't even that bet. Like aside from being Stab, it's not better than Pound. And I want Pound so that if I'm up against an enemy that isn't like super effective against me, but I can, well, I don't know, just like brain. Just like, I want my, my variety. Pound is at least a thing to have. 
Well, that's me and my Pokemon. I'm, I hope you'll support us. Just so you know, our latest single is titled Jiggling Pokemon Wub. What does that even mean? And I guess we'll check out Crasher Wake's gym and hope there's a decent amount of Pokemon in the way. The gym leader, Wake. Uh, I mean, Crasher Wake is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you've got guts if you want to try face down water types of fire or ground type Pokemon, but that part I'll leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. <laughs> what if you wanted to be stronger, but your friend said B? Doesn't even mean like becoming stronger. Hey, child, want to fight me? My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. You're going to become the spirit in a second. <laughs> I just like messing with my friends when using Zorark. Like, here's a lesson in trickery. Here's a lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you want to catch a hero on the... That's going to kill, isn't it? Why, though? <laughs> I just want to level up my fucking indigo. Fine, I'll just put the fucking experience exchange on it if you're going to be a cunt like that game. Super affected on, bitch. You only had one Pokemon. Wow, Trainer, you just might be tougher than our gym leader. I'm gonna drown you to death. You aren't gonna float, you're gonna sink like a rock. I'm gonna puncture your inner tube. I can't believe Zorark is Robbie Rotten. Imagine a Zorark with that chin. I think I named Shiny Zoro a Robbie Rotten once. That would be amusing. Although, <laughs> for the Zora not understanding the reference, it's like, what did I do to deserve this name? And we shall give you the experience. Share. Though, really, it should be called the Experience Exchange. Oh, yeah, I forgot to see. Nope, just still no pure normal. Interesting. Man, my shiny luck is horrendous. Mood. Oh, it just... <coughs> Excuse me. It lowered the water levels. Hey, fish man, wanna die? I wield the stupendous power of water. Don't think you can win. <laughs> Apparently, Robbie is short for Bobbert or something. I was really sad when I learned that. Indigo, please hit first this time. <laughs> what about the law of equivalent exchange? Please survive. And kill him, Indigo! <laughs> the Law of Equivalent Exchange. I find no shinies, but what do I get in return? But the kid wins anyway! I'm just bowled over! Now I have to leave. To heal up my indigo again, because I want to level up my indigo. But overall, I'm beginning uh, uh, for the little bit that I've messed with the puzzle of that gym. I like this little gimmick. Seems interesting. Considering things 
I'll probably try to, like, stop having Indigo in front because poor little bastard isn't going to be <laughs> holding things up for a bit. Instead, we will try instead to have Amp carry us. <laughs> Trade offer. You receive no shinies. You receive no shinies. Such is the evils of the world. The capitalist mindset. We'll try to level up Amp and Indigo. Before we get to Crash or Wake. And hope there isn't like a, a place of no return. Hello, Sailor Man. I've been around the world, going from place to place training Pokemon. It's this gym I've chosen to make my home. You can bet it's tough. So do you just live here? Do you pay rent? Well, that Wingle's gonna fucking die. Of course, now we run into the perfect Pokemon that... A dear little Indigo would have annihilated. Get sparked, idiot. For four times damage because it's a flying water type. And you're going to send out Flipper. We'll annihilate him too. You ugly. Die. Get blasted, idiot. You, you're truly top class tough. Mm. We will give like the next trainer a chance. You're probably gonna be like the, the other little kid and have like a level m a monster. I want to become a strong trainer like Crash or Wake. You know, I was gutted when the Pokemon Company was giving a free shiny Lucario on New Year's. I didn't have the new game, so all those eggs were for nothing. <laughs> oh, that is, that, that is pain. I also do not have any of the new games, so I... I guess, I, like, I maybe saw, like, the announcement, but I was like, Oh, I don't have the new game, so I don't care. Oh, are you just, like, a normal type? Posing as a water type, are you? Well, I don't need attack, because I have confusion. Die. Get stabbed in the mind. Only a hundred. Now you can die. God damn it. What does that even do? Oh. Well, fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw Amp out because you're probably gonna be a jerk. And I don't want Indigo to die again. Yeah, yeah. Raise your health all you want. Get sparked to death. I had 15 boxes of Riolu. Still more to come. <laughs> You're gonna have your own gym of just, like, fighting type Riolu. You're gonna have your own village. This is the Riolu village. <laughs> To go finally leveled up. And we're gonna let Amp get this one. Even though it'll still share, but still. Die, little Meryl. Goodbye. God is not merciful for you today. Uh, you're too much. 
Ah, you're evolving! I wonder if this will at all help your fragility, or are you a psychic glass cannon? Either way, huzzah! Indigo has donned a dress! So, so is anyone excited for Pokemon Day tomorrow? Indeed, indeed. Actually, speaking on that, I finally uh, finished drawing my uh, Cresselia meme and posted it to my social medias. I'm not sure if they'll... Because, like, you can never tell with, like, a Pokemon Day Direct. Is it going to be much? Is there not going to be much? You don't know. All you can do is go into it praying. I already have over 300, Neon. The hell do I do with them? You train them all. You train them all into a Lucario army. You make the Lucario kingdom. I actually have an idea for drawing. You go for it. I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. You're going to have nothing but six Magikarp, aren't you? Hand to go. You can fuck this fish to death, can't you? Magical Leaf! Huzzah! I just noticed the little, like, spiky ear hair Gardevoir has. That's neat. Um, we're gonna annihilate you with Amp, <laughs> Gar <laughs> Gyarados. <laughs> One just imagine being happy if the life-size Lucario plush. Maybe someday your Lucario plush will come to life and kill all your enemies with honor. Amp, kill it now. Get four times death, Gyarados. <laughs> Man, I really want to buy that, but <coughs> money. Exactly. Capitalism, the evils of the world. I have a feeling I'm going to have to grind up Indigo and Amp outside of the gym. Because Crasher Wake is gonna be fucking scary, I assume. Let's see, will you survive good indigo? Oh, that was a critical hit, so you did survive good! Once indigo put on the dress. He truly became a man, able to tank all kinds of shit. Being number one in the world doesn't mean a thing. Maybe the real capitalism was the friends we made along the way. If that were true, it would be the friends we bought along the way. I'm confused. <laughs> like, what does this even do? Yeah. What's the point of that button? Da da da. Like the raging sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. You're not crash awake. That's just how I roll. We have to kill him. Hmm. I wonder, because you're part flying type and you're part water type. Which wins? I want to know. Man, it just cancels out into normal. And you still died. Eh. <laughs> Shellos. Hey, I think you're that thing I've been grinding on all this time. Die. Ah, eh, you survived. How dare you? Please survive, Indigo. Yeah, it feels like becoming a guard of war just made Indigo a god. 
With thighs like these, Indigo can finally kill the opposition. Let's throw Amp in. Let him have a bit of experience, too. Blast him to death. I can't believe Indigo caused Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Well, somebody had to do it. Gardevoir is indeed a fan favorite. Granted, with Pokemon, there's a lot of fan favorites. It also depends on, like, where you got in. Like, if you like any spin-off games, that can also alter, like, what your personal favorite Pokemon are. That wave didn't even wash my hands! What are you even saying? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Are you insane? Let's see. We'll give you your odd instance back to do major damage. Because now that you've evolved and you're on the same level as... Amp. And we'll super potion you guys up again. So you can fight Crasher Wake at full power. Although not full power points, but eh. If there's a population overflow of Riolu in the next games, I think you know why. One Lucario just got it on a lot. Hmm. We're gonna have Charm take charge. At least at first. Welcome! I didn't- I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gem Leader! That's right, I'm Crasher Wake! My Pokémon were toughened up by the stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under! Victory will be ours. Come on! Let's get it done! <laughs> Same thing with Vaporeon. It's a good Pokemon, but man, the internet. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wait, we're just gonna nightly. Aw, oh, how cute. <laughs> Charm looks back at us before going to kill the enemy. But we're gonna have Amp murderize this guy. <laughs> that voice is now 100% canon. Haha! <laughs> I have created head cannon voice for people. I am becoming a god as well. I like Glaceon, so I think I dodged a bullet. <laughs> oh, you got a fucking crit, you bitch. I hate you. I hate you. Why do you guys constantly get crits? Although, to be fair, pretty much all of the evolutions have been wink-wonked by the internet. But Wooper does the same animation in Heart Gold Soul Silver. He turns around and he goes, Oh! Get four times, idiot. That's what you get for getting a crit on your first fucking turn. Even Jolteon? All of them. All of them. And Quagsire. All in to go, I, 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 I'm gonna try you. Magical Leap! Booyah! You nuked him from orbit. And all that's left is his... Floatzel? His Floatzel, huh? Well, Shine, we're gonna give you a chance. I just searched Vaporeon on YouTube and the first thing I hear was corn. That's kind of sad. 
Kind of is. Hey, that there! That was a good move! Uh... Sand attack! We're gonna sand attack the floatzel. Try to go for it again. Ah, uh, it used Aqua Jet, so it was gonna die anyway. And that stab brought Shine down. Get screamed at. Close combat! Get punched! Why is a bird no close combat, come to think of it? Is it because it swoops on in? <laughs> Same thing with Gardevoir. To be fair, like, as far as I'm aware, your search history does kind of affect things there. Restore your health, maybe. This is where it gets exciting! And you're gonna brine poor Nova to death. But I wonder why. I also wonder if it's like just in the like thumbnails is like clickbait or if it is actually all but Lucarian Zoroark 2 man you're s what of your search histories Brian and hello hello we are de utterly annihilating Crasher Wake get brined on Floatzel See, that's how you adequately use Brine Crasher Wick. I can't wait for I can't wait to tell Barry that I murdered his mentor. We are not learning Baton Pass. Hungry, it's gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more. And then it, it he went on too fast. I couldn't read it all. It seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You earned this! The Fin Badge. You need that Fin Badge to use the hidden move Surf outside of battle. This is a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. The only thing you'll see in my search history is many different rephrasings of the same thing trying to find a meme from four years ago. <laughs> I already have Brine. That's hilarious. It inflicts double the damage on targets of less than half their HP left. Yeah, and I used it against you. Use it in battles decisively. Which I did, literally. That's kind of hilarious that if you have, like, the water starter, you just automatically get that. Oh, Neon, you've beaten the gym leader. So how was it? Did you enjoy the battle against Wake? I mean, Crasher Wake? I can't believe we just killed Alan Wake. Sure, winning is important, but don't forget to have fun, too. I think Wake, I mean, Crasher Wake, showed you what I mean by fun. Oh, hey, you got the gym badge here, huh? What'd I tell you, Mr. Wake? I mean, the master's pretty awesome, hey? What's this racket, then? Oh, it's you two. Oh, master! Listen, kid, I know your father. I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. I made you my... M oh, <laughs> I completely, completely wrong voice. It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided. But forget that. There's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. He said something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pastoria. Not on my watch. <laughs> also, duck compilations. Ah, ducks. The demons of the water. 
Hey, Master, wait! Are we just gonna hear an explosion from off screen? And here we are in the Sinnoh Extinction Event. Bing bong bing. Well, I guess we'll give you the Suv Bell since. You're gonna apparently take a while. Where is the Suv Bell? And we'll try to try to get him into Umbreon eventually. <laughs> you actually nail voice acting. Thank you very much. Hey! One of my chopped liver? Don't forget I'm here too! So where's this collect? Well, that's a disappointing explosion sound effect. Oh no, yo, now it goes. <laughs> that was rough! You! What have you done? What I've done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package that arrived, see, that was a bomb named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did, like, poink. Oh, that's right, mustn't forget, the test results need reporting. Cheerio, then, you daft conjure your mask absurd. The Great Marsh is invaluable. You two, do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in either. There'd be big trouble if there's any of that bomb left. Hey, Neon! You got for that Galactic Goon! I'm staying here like Master said. Gotta keep others from going in. Don't let that Galactic guy get away! I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna castrate him. What's with you? Stop chasing after me, you! I have a mind to pulverize you with my Pokémon! But I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky! I'm out! Alright, do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me! <laughs> this is my pet duck, Adam. Going for his first swim. Be careful, Adam. Adam! Adam! Exactly. Oppenheimer. The galactic Oppenheimer with his stupid bowl cut. If the A button was never pressed, the bomb wouldn't have gone off. The MC caused this. And it was more like the world was stuck in that single moment waiting for the trigger. We need the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It could make the scientific genius... To, it would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific mechanical genius. Tra! You're eavesdropping! I was just thinking out loud. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. What if he got jumped by wild Pokemon and got eaten to death? We'll fight some random Pokemon along the way. <gasps> See if we can freaking get Shine up into an Umbreon already. Quick attack! See, Shine? You could have Pursuit someday. Maybe. I don't know what Umbreon learns. Maybe I should use the Versus Finder more. Oh, while we're here, we can talk to Mr. Foot Fetish. What does my Eevee think of me? Ah, so now he just needs to evolve and not faint or else he'll get angry at me. They should make a show with the accurate timing so the clock's with 10 seconds left, actually have 10 seconds, and you only get 22 minutes in the day per episode. So it takes, like, a bunch of episodes for one day. That could be interesting, but could also get annoying. But who knows? It's all about the execution. But boy, this galactic bomb packs a pretty big wallop. With this baby here, there's not much we can't blow up. I wonder what they plan for this. Draw your eavesdropping! I was just thinking out loud! You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away. But I'm not gonna waste my energy knocking you around. Why don't I send out my Pokemon to annihilate him? Hello, my friend. 
The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo, it was a bomb, and there was an explosion. The explosion was at the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man. A man with a funny bowl cut hair. In an outfit that is very strange. In other words, that is the Team Galactic. Oh, no, 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 no. How did I miss it? Ah, looker, this time you have made a mistake of the ages. The man who I've seen running away, he was the bearer of the bomb. Ugh, this will not do. Wait, wait, I say. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to castrate his ass. <laughs> I like drawing little stick arms on birds. They are funny. Ah, my friend, it is you. Yes, I am at this hotel now. I am interviewing the people to see if they have seen anyone suspicious. I would like your assistance. Go search outside, if you will. The suspect, he may have already gone. Slipped away, ahead, unnoticed. Like, there's a whole episode dedicated to the MC just waking up and making coffee and or breakfast. That, I feel, would be kind of art housey And, uh, would be very, like, niche. Oh, new people here to kill. And for giggles, make the uh, the next One Piece and have the show last for 15 years. So there are like 50,000 episodes. Oh, that's just the normal. <laughs> that's just the normal One Piece. <laughs> Honestly, if they had Dynamax, this would be a lot more horrifying. <laughs> Oh, all your stocks went up again. You haven't guessed wrong yet. My boyfriend's a stock market wizard, did you know? Someone that lucky also happens to make a tough trainer. Are you willing to try your luck against that? I'm gonna fuck your boyfriend. Cuck you right in front of him. Ah, shit. He, he's a bitch. He's a gambler. He's a gambling man. I, I am kind of annoyed that I can't go, like, click up from the run button to get back to fight. It's a little weird. Ever so slightly weird. Come on in, Charms. You can kick that rock ass. And hopefully not get one-shot by the fucking bitch of a gambler man. For some reason, Charm was unaffected by the horn drill. Good. Kill. Kill that Rhyhorn with thighs. Why did that Finneon meow? That's what it sounded like. Plus reversal. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, that didn't kill. Good. Munch on his rock ass. My biggest hope for Pokemon Day is that they start releasing the fucking monocile figures outside Japan, because damn if they, damn it, they are cool, and I don't have 2k for shipping and buying from resellers. I have no idea what those are. I haven't really paid much attention to, like, that kind of stuff. My luck's run out. You're a lucky one. Like, I haven't really looked into Pokemon merch like that for budgetary reasons. As you all know, I am awaiting the next Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> it's just one loss. Who can make that back of a big win next time? That's Gambler's Fallacy. Here's a toast for Mom. May she always be healthy. My wife's in the hospital wait uh, waiting for the baby to arrive. Since I can't cook, I came here with my daughter. How would you like to battle with us before we eat? They're just like three-inch Pokemon figures. Meh. Oh, that is not... That character model is not at all what I would assume them to look like. Well, the 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 old man. He was like a dojo master and not like a crippled Master Roshi type. They used to make them in the West, but they randomly stopped. I wonder why. Freeze his muscles. I'm wondering about the black and white remakes for Pokemon Day. Because uh, that is what people are theorizing should be the next one, especially because the Sinnoh remakes came out not, well, kind of not long ago. 
Uh, you're gonna kill my boy, aren't you? Oh no, you went for the other one. Weird. I also know that a lot of people are like, no, no, don't remake them. You'll just make them worse. I myself have never, like the one thing that I'm wondering for the Gen 5 remakes is, I wonder if they're going to, like, like what are, what are they gonna do for, like, uh, Black and White 2? That's what I'm wondering. Because they're not really third versions, but they're not really like, it's just, it's very weird. It's a very odd thing. So I'm just wondering what they're gonna do with that. Like, are they gonna make Gen 5 and then make like Black and White 2, blah, blah, blah. Are they gonna make it like, a downloadable content? Are they gonna have it baked in? What are they gonna do? They had one, arguably two, with Scarlet Violet, dud with uh, BDSP, and people are shitting themselves, acting like we'll never uh, get a good game or remake again, and the company is dead and the world is ending. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know too much about the Sinnoh remakes to make, like, any kind of call. Didn't play them, didn't see much about them, just heard lots of complaining. But at the same time, Pokemon fans complained about a tree for <laughs> Sword and Shield. So I don't really know how serious to take complaints from them anymore. I'm also hoping for another Pokemon Legends game. I, too, am hoping for a Legends game. Because there's so much you can do for Pokemon Legends. Tough, aren't you? That I am. I miss, I was with my daddy, too. <laughs> uh, Gen 4 equals Gen 2 remake. Gen 6 equals Gen 3 remake. Gen 8 equals Gen 4 remake. Are we going to get a Gen 10 next? Easy pattern. <laughs> I doubt it's actually going to be that easy of a pattern. The house will be a lot noisier when the baby comes home with mommy. But for me... Like, I hope there's another Legends game, because there's so much you can do with it, like Legends Celebi, where, like, Celebi takes you back to see ancient-ish Johto. Like, at the very least, see the tower burn down, the creation of the legendary beasts. And, hell, you could even be the first trainer to catch the legendary beasts. Ma Ooh, maybe that could be, like, the frenzy of <laughs> Celebi, although some people might be like, oh, that's too derivative, but... Like, imagine the an inciting incident is the Johto Tower burn, or like one of the Johto Towers burning down, and then the beasts are created, and something is making them go crazy, and you have to like serve Ho Oh to go and find him and calm him down or something. <laughs> I want to kick Volo again. Don't we all? I'm going to fly back to the, t the Marsh Town, heal up my Pokemon, run back, keep fighting people. Why did that sound like Cleveland Brown? My name is Cleveland Brown, and my show sucked ass. We did not need a Family Guy spinoff. Especially considering American Dad is right there and basically already is. I do not... It's, just, it's, it's, it's the same art style, it's the same jokes. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, back to my thoughts. Like, I wonder what other kind of uh, Legends games that could be made. Because I know that there's, like, a decent history to Black and White and Yanova. Because isn't there, like, a whole thing about, like, a king... And, like, the dragon and the dragon being split in half and stuff. So, like, we could get medieval Pokemon. I think that'd be neat. Then... Then I think there's also stuff with, like, Kalos and uh, the X and Y games. So, so maybe there could be, like, a Legends game that. 
I have to remind myself daily that the first who voices Death and Family Guy voices uh, Glumshanks and Skylanders. That reminds me of the fact that the guy who voices uh, Reaper from Overwatch also voices Blue from, uh, what's it called? The blah 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 place for imaginary friends? It was an old cartoon. This succulent flavor reminds me of a world trip I took. My father and I traveled everywhere, dining at only the best restaurants. Eating this fabulous meal has really lifted my spirits. Join us for a battle. Yeah, Gen 5 has a lot of untouched lore, past-related stuff. And we could, like... <laughs> like... The funny aha way of doing things would be to have, like... Either, like, an ancestor of... That would actually work perfectly, where they could have the ancestor of uh, Emmett and I uh, Ingo be like a like a wear like a gray outfit. He's building, trying to build the first railway car, and and basically Emmett and Ingo are him, but split later down, just like the dragons. Foster's home for imaginary friends. Yes. I call TV shows or series that have been going for a while and decreasing quality seasonal rot. That is the indeed the name. That is how they refer to it. <laughs> that per person also voices Bowl Boy in Cuphead Show. <laughs> the Reaper guy. Voice actors really... <laughs> uh, that is the beauty of being a voice actor. You get like lots of different roles from, especially the ones that are varied in their vocal arts. Then there's Dan Green. He voiced some hentai. Which is hilarious. At least I think he did. I think that was part of the meme. At least that people like to joke about. Haha. -ha. He voiced he voiced hentai. Now this is special. It appears as if we were only grazed a fire, but in reality much care has gone into its preparation. When you get to be an accomplished gourmet like myself, one can tell at a glance if a dish is delicious or not. Let's see, what other pl like, there's so many different places. Oh, now my brain went Pokemon Legends Ore. <laughs> Show us what made the Ore region so uninhabitable. Chris Pratt voices everyone, no exception. You're voiced by Chris Pratt. I'm voiced by Chris Pratt. Apparently, Chris Pratt actually wanted to do a proper Mario voice for the Mario movie, but they told him, no, do your own voice, because they wanted to lean into, oh, celebrity voice actor. Executives need to be drug out into the street and shot. Executives in these big old companies are fucking bastards and need to be hunted for sport. Dan Green just enters my mind every few months. Wait, he did? I mean, he did voice work in an R18 anime, I guess. Like, unless it was just like a super duper borderline, and it was just a clip that I saw, I don't know. It's been years since I saw it, so it could be. Oh, but one idea that got into my head lately is a reimagining of the Pokemon Ranger series. Because, sure, there is the ability to use, like, uh, the Joy-Cons, maybe, but uh, that could get wiggly, wiggly wonky. But what if it was kind of the Breath of the Wild of Pokemon games? Where you could, like, run around this big old like, Pokemon preserve... And you have, like, your partner Pokemon, but you can go up to, like, random Pokemon and get them to help you uh, temporarily to take down poachers as you go across this big old story. I think that could work well. I wasn't too mad about the lack of Italian voice uh, voice ca uh, chase. I wouldn't be able to listen to it for two hours. No hate to Charles or the voice, though. For me, it's just the fact that it's so clearly... Chris Pratt. 
who was like, yeah, sure, we want him to be, like, recognizable because higgledy-piggledy bitches, but, like, come on, if you're going to have... It's voice acting. Fuck. Like, that's kind of one thing that uh, led to, like, a, a little bit of controversy way back when, because I think it was the voice actor who voiced the zebra in Madagascar said that it was the easiest job he ever did and thought that he was like, oh, voice acting super easy. He's like, yeah, no shit, you're a celebrity voice actor. And you came in, and they didn't want you to do a voice. They just said, hey, do ba dee ba da ba dee do yourself. And so, of course, they, you think it's easy. Just overall, it's just like... It seems like actual voice actors get handled much harder by, like, movies and stuff. Because, like, oh, you have to do the voice we want you to do. But then a celebrity voice actor, and they're just like, we just want you to be you for maximum appeal. Ah. I see Chris Pratt so much that I don't see it as, oh, look, it's Owen from Jurassic Park, played by Chris Pratt. I think, oh, it's Chris Pratt. Exactly. There's just a little bit too much oversaturation of Chris Pratt. And it's like... It's not even like a... Like, there was this one funny thing. Uh, there was a show called Hogan's Heroes. And uh, the entire thing is basically a comedy set place in a... Uh, <laughs> Nazi Germany concentration camp. If you, if you imagine. It's a very old show. And hilariously, a bunch of the Nazis in the show were played by uh, Jewish actors, so that was funny. But, like, one of the major actors, I forget his name, I think it was like something Klempener, but uh, he voiced the Commandant, Colon Colonel Klink, and he was like a complete hysterical character. And uh, as Colonel Klink, he showed up in a bunch of things, including the Adam West Batman show. Colonel Clink, the the character, showed up in Batman. Just for some reason. And he just showed up all over the place as Colonel Clink. So even though he himself showed up a bunch of these places because he was still playing Colonel Clink, it was just like, it was still, oh, hey, Colonel Clink. Deadpool 3 might have a reference to Detective Pikachu. It would have to be a very, like shallow reference unless Nintendo just is just like oh yeah sure let's have Pikachu like nuke a guy with Thunderbolt that might be funny but like uh it would have to be a very opaque reference a very vague reference I feel like Oh, hey, it's you. We've come to murder you. I guess I'll set Shine to the side for a bit, level up my other, the rest of my team. Uh, why am I running like this anyway? That new world, the new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it when we use this thing. Glag, you are eavesdropping again! I was only talking to myself. You're persistent, too. I am pooped out from all the running. But I'm not going to battle you. You're a weirdo. Did you just jump off the cliff? They did a Detective Pikachu reference in Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. I think it might be a bit more difficult for Deadpool because... Like, Rated R as well as it has, like, the official American voice of Detective Pikachu from that movie. Oh no, you're still on my tail! Flakes within sight. You leave me no choice, my Pokemon will KO you! You have one. You have one. You are going to die. Get blasted, idiot. How dare you. Blast him now!
Get exp <laughs> Ah, finally, a critical hit. Not sure if it'll help much, but hey. A full health critical hit is always nice. <laughs> if I didn't run, I could have battled better. I mean, y your Pokemon wasn't tired. You were. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Why aren't we just chasing after him? Hey, Cynthia. Oh, hello, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, uh, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island inside the lake, and inside that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, well, that's right, I had to talk to you about something else. Is that a illusion of mirage Pokemon? Like, uh, a Groudon, perhaps? Hey, Neon, where'd that Galactic Goon run off to? Huh? Is that your older sister? No, she isn't? Oh, okay. That explosion in the Great Marsh it wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told, uh, told me to tell you that. But that Team Galactic... Wow, are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. He's your friend. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So, getting back to what I was started saying earlier, have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes. Yes, that's right, but by the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in the air, uh, in their, uh, hands? Anyways, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. The secret poke of the secret Pokemon potion. I went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. And once again, we shall fly back. Well, actually, we could just teleport. Ends up the same, but still. I wonder what teleportation looks like in the Pokemon, like in person in the Pokemon world. You just see someone spin into existence, and they're like, oh my god! It's Sonic the Hedgehog! Get him! But yeah, for Pokemon Day, Pokemon Day Direct could be anything. Literally anything. They could announce, like, a new movie or anime. They could announce, like, yeah, like, uh, merchandise. Any kind of amount of games, spinoffs and stuff. And because it's at the beginning of the year, it could basically be anything. All right, Footprint Man, you said we were the best of friends. The perfect match and he didn't evolve. What do you say now? We're in the neighborhood. Nah, it's still the same. Perfectly matched combo. They did announce uh, that the new anime will be on Netflix tomorrow. Yeah. I really should watch some of the new Pokemon shows and stuff that are out. Like, Pokemon Concierge seems interesting. Then there's, like, uh, yeah, that new non-Ash Pokemon anime that's out and about that I really should give a shot. But sitting down to watch shows is difficult. Are you still waiting? They say there's a legendary Pokemon. I aim to capture it on film. I, it was me who filmed that red Gyarados at Lake Rage. What if you deserve to be executed? Fun fact, the actor who voiced Sonic also voiced Shadow as well as Jet and also Looker. Huh. Uh, Pokemon Horizons, you mean? I think so. I'm not good with, like, names of things. I don't know half those characters. I've only seen the first uh, two episodes. I myself, I don't think I've seen anything. It's been a long time since I've watched any kind of Pokemon show.
Ooh, but maybe we'll run into, like, the Galactic Grunt and he'll drop a key and we'll be able to, uh, shank his mom. We'll throw his mom into the daycare. <laughs> but yeah, like, my dream, my dream is another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game is announced. Even if it's, like, a straight-up port of, like, Gates to Infinity or Super Mystery Dungeon, maybe with expanded content, like... <laughs> For some reason, my brain went Gates to Infinity and Beyond. <laughs> Would be a funny, like, super edition title for a Gates to Infinity type game. Re-release. But yeah, because the thing that brought that to mind is at the uh, Partner Showcase Direct, there was the announcement of the Pokemon Stories port. Or no, not Pokemon Stories. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories. A 3DS game that was the, is now being ported to the Switch in HD with voice acting. I don't think voice acting would fit for a Mystery Dungeon game. Personally. I know there are some weirdos who are like, eh, they're so lazy, they didn't have voice acting in this game. But honestly, I wouldn't mind if more games went the Tales of Symphonia route. In which, like, main important cutscenes are voiced, but, like, just running around, talk to this schmuck. No voice acting. I think that would be fine. Allocate your budget well. Yeah. But yeah, there's, like, so many ideas for, like, spin-offs and stuff. That I just hope that, like, cool Pokemon stuff happens. I just hope that there's cool Pokemon announcements that are decent. Like, a decent year of Pokemon announcements. And then, uh, then I really, 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 just really, really hope that next year, the 20th anniversary of Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because yeah, I know, Mystery Dungeon is its own thing. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is different. But the 20th anniversary of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is next year. And that's when I really, really hope they have something cool for Mystery Dungeon. My favorite Pokemon show is the one that goes, <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook. Hmm. Oh, maybe we need to go to the Galactic HQ. So how Breath of the Wild did it? Kind of? With Breath of the Wild, it was mostly just cutscenes, but with uh, Tales of Symphonia, it was important conversations in general, even if they didn't have a dedicated cutscene. Because uh, Tales of Symphonia is a cool RPG. I liked it. As the Galactic Goon went this way. No, we go to Celestic Town now. Well, that's kind of mean. We were chasing down a goon. Let's see. Celestic Town. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, yeah, you're right. The Psyducks. The Psyducks. I was still stuck on, like, oh, we were chasing the goon that I completely forgot that Cynthia gave us the Psyduck medicine. Completely forgot about that. See, this is why having a chat and streaming games is great. Because <laughs> they'll come out and be like, hey, you're being an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm totally going to try and get up early tomorrow and record my reaction to the Pokemon Day Direct. And then I'll upload it to the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel. I already caught you. I didn't evolve you fully to... Oh, wait, I forgot. You're a trade evolution. So either way, die, you... You bitch. Get... Get leafed. Stabbed to death. You know what would be cool? If they announced a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime that was just its own thing, completely separate from any of the games... You want to know something else that would be cool? Like a cool idea? 
like a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, but it doesn't follow you as the protagonist. Instead, like, you follow, like, a dedicated character story. Which, sure, kind of, some people would be annoyed by because, like, oh, they're used to Mystery Dungeon being like, oh, you're the protagonist, you choose your partner and stuff. But I just think it would be neat. Basically, overall, I just want more Mystery Dungeon stuff, and that does different things. But it's also at the same time, that would kind of need there to be more Mystery Dungeon stuff in general, for them to then do new stuff. <laughs> or like, what if you, like, uh, played as your own selected Pokémon, like, oh, you take the quiz or choose your own, get thrown to this Pokémon world, but then you help, like, a specific, like, partner Pokemon who's... The story is dedicated around. We're just running into Abra. The Abra line today. I ran into an Abra. Then I ran into a Kadabra. Then I ran into another Abra. What's going on here? Remember to stay hydrated while wacky nonsense happens. I want a PMD game where every Pokemon is available to play as when you do the quiz. Why can't I be reincarnated as the god of space? <laughs> or Shuckle. Primarily because restriction kind of like adds to the like uh, the experience to a bit to, to a degree. As well as that would be uh, like a bit difficult because well, it also depends how they do that, the Mystery Dungeon game. Because... Like, at least in the olden days, you'd have to worry about, like, oh, the, the character, like, sprites and character animations. Like, I don't think there's ever been, like, a Mystery Dungeon game that has every single Pokemon. I'm fairly certain that at least a decent bit, a few Pokemon were missing in each one, purely due to th that fact. Because you have to make a lot of assets for each Pokemon, and then animations, then portrait sprites. And then for, like, story reasons, you'd have to keep in mind the character's, like, design and size for, like, the camera of the story cutscenes. <laughs> Why can't I be the being that created the ocean? But I do not know. I guess we're gonna fight some Psyducks. Here's Secret Potion. And now we're gonna fight, I guess? Oh no, they're gonna run away. And that side, he got split off. Didn't the first ones have every Pokemon from Gen 1 to 3? Maybe, but at the same time, Gen 1 to 3? Vastly different from, from then to now. Because it is entirely possible they could do that for the first Mystery Dungeon. I think Explorers of Sky might have lacked some Pokemon... Maybe? But I forget. Later on, they totally started cutting them, <laughs> which is understandable. Like, even if they made, like, a new Mystery Dungeon game, I still wouldn't begrudge them for cutting Pokemon. Which is a hard task to do, because every Pokemon is somebody's favorite, no matter how unlikely. There's probably going to be somebody out there. But... If I had to, like, again, I think I've said it before, but my dream Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game would be, like, normal Mystery Dungeon, like, world, characters, and story. Sure, add some, like, interesting twists and stuff to, like, the formula and stuff, but, but uh, a normal Mystery Dungeon story, it's just the gameplay. If they made the gameplay kind of 3D hack and slash or beat em up with special moves... So that's like a 3D dungeon crawler hack and slash beat em up. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, second mystery dungeon was up the fourth gym. 
Also that you didn't have to get the damn item to be able to recruit them. <laughs> and the same for uh, third, Gen 5. Fourth was up to Gen 6. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody who loves Ditto's pre-evolution. Wasn't that cut, I think? Or am I just forgetting? There's so many Pokemon. <laughs> oh good, use the secret potion I gave you. Were you just stalking me? Psyducks are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Ah yes, can I ask a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while. Sure. Old charm. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location? Uh, look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again on the road. <laughs> Just giving me all the things to do, aren't you? I bet I'm just gonna go give her, her grandmother the old amulet, and then she'll just be standing outside the door. <laughs> Cynthia stalked me across games. That does feel like her. Surprise! <laughs> Cynthia's here to murder you. You go back to the past. Surprise! Cynthia's here to murder you. What if it was like a Cynthia Everywhere system? No matter what game you're in, Cynthia's gonna come find you. You go back to Generation 1, surprise! Cynthia's there! I love Raging Bolt. I don't think I know Raging Bolt. <laughs> There's so many Pokémon! And I haven't been keeping up too well with the later games. Especially now that they started adding DLC, so... For me, the overall price of the game is a lot more expensive and hard to get. Hard to justify to myself. <laughs> I'm always in the minority of everything. Raging Bolt is the past form of Raikou. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing that. I think it's neat. Since he's the only one who could defeat my Lucario in Black 2. <laughs> Oh, hey, Chansey. I don't care. I'm gonna kill you. I don't think you ever even hatched the, the egg I gave you in Mystery Dungeon. Die! Psychic attack! Why do you have so much health? I am literally 13 levels higher than you. You should die. You should be dead. You should be on the ground groveling for mercy. Grovel for mercy. Bong bing. Bing bong. Bing 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 bong. They have a high special defense. Well, my special defense should be able to kill them faster. <laughs> Ch Chancey, Chancey, I'm bored. I'm gonna kill you, basically. You're not gonna live, Chansey. I'm gonna fillet your fish. Bing, 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 bong. But sometimes I hate my brain because like every single time I start consuming a new piece of media, my brain immediately goes like, hey, what if we wrote a fanfic for it? And it's just like, I can't even handle the fanfics that I'm trying to write right now. What the fuck? I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. I am going to murder you. You are going to be the next subject of missing 411. They are going to say that cave people ate you, and I am going to get away with everything. This is the same creature that kept bombing innocent forest creatures, so I say it's deserved. I completely forgot about that. Terrorist Chansey from the Ore region. 
You gonna send in a second crow gunk? Let me guess, you're gonna go first, you're gonna hit me, it's gonna be a crit, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna stab your family. Oh no, I go first. Aha! Indigo flashed some thigh, confused the crow gunk, and then slapped him in the face with his psychic dick. Oh, psychic, yeah! Honestly, we could probably get rid of teleport. We have, uh... Dibbity D. How good is Psychic? 90, it also may reduce. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of Teleport. We don't really need it. We have Fly now. Get Obliviated. I can see defeat. Oh, they're, they're not gonna be able to find your feet after everything I'm done gonna be doing to you. Indigo, create a Psychic Knife. We're taking his legs. Now my brain went, what would... <laughs> okay, two thoughts now. First thought, I my brain went, I wonder what the most effective terrorist Pokemon would be. Then my second thought was... Would the fastest way to get Yamask just be murdering humans? <laughs> the Krogunk questioned its sexuality in seconds. And then died. Got knocked out before he could come to a conclusion. Get obliterated. Apparently there's a trio of motherfuckers in this land. Bing bong. Bing. <laughs> Kiram was pretty effective. You'll see what I mean when you get to black and white too. Eventually. It is definitely on the docket of get to eventually. As well as pretty much most Pokemon games. Like Pokemon Ranger. No idea. I think I see one of the, the ninja trio just down there. Like, no idea how good Pokemon Ranger would be to play on emulator, but I could always give it just a try. <laughs> Get obliterated, Ponyta. Fight me, child. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna show you your friend's seven head. Go Indigo Montoya, Psychic the Bird. <laughs> Circle flashbacks begin. Scaropi, you say? For some reason, my brain went Scaropi these nuts. I don't even know why. Not the toxic spikes. It's Spike from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic if he was in a toxic relationship. Is a female galley possible? I don't know. I don't I don't think so, but I could be mistaken. Could very well be possible. Immediately, another Cheddar says no. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. They're like, well, we have Vespa Queen. We also have Salazzle. Let's, <laughs> let's give the dudes <laughs> an, a, a singular evolution to have their own. Psychic attack!
I guess I'll go just heal Indigo, then we'll come back, try to find the last hidden ninja boy to murderize for experience. Do do do. Do 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 do. Bing bong bing. Ba 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 ba. One of my fears as a, like, even just a casual streamer is one of these days I'm going to, like, load up a game and be like, Okay, everybody, we're gonna continue our journey. And then, like, immediately, fi like, 15 minutes into streaming, get to the end of the game. And I'm gonna be like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I think something kind of like that happened, but I still, it was still like an hour of streaming or so, and then I think I just jumped on to, like, the next game I already planned to play. But it's like, one of these days, I'm gonna s begin streaming, and in less than, less than 20 minutes, beat the game. And it'll just, it'll be an experience. I have found all of you. And now, I will kill you all. Oh, look, it's the uninformed form of that of the, the Team Skull's leader. Oh, I probably should... Again, like, my brain just keeps mixing up things. I mean, he's... Why isn't he poison? <laughs> Come to think of it. Why, why isn't he poison type? It's like, that's his old gimmick. I jump kick, murder his family. It's dark and poison type. Oh, that's just illegal. What next? We're gonna have a flying and bird type? We're gonna bring back Missino? <laughs> How long until the Minecraft playthrough? I'm not really that big of like a Minecraft fan. Like, maybe streaming it could be fun. <laughs> Doesn't help that, like... I've kind of, like, lost access to my original Minecraft account. Which is a little annoying. <laughs> you should name the next Pokemon Battle Pass. But I don't play that many games that have Battle Passes. There's so many. I guess we'll get Indigo to level 34. And then we'll just start running away. God. I just realized there's probably a non-zero chance that somebody out there named their kid Battle Pass. Those people need to be executed. The real Battle Pass is the friends we made along the way. Because they give you money through <laughs> stream donations, like true friends. To then be able to buy the battle pass. Real friends buy you the battle pass for you. Because they are your slaves. And level up for Indigo. Glance around, see if there's any other items. Nope, then we're just gonna move along. Alright, definitely gonna defog. Fuck, we don't have defog equipped on anybody. Who do I wanna get what who do I wanna drop to get defog so that we don't have to suffer? Oh man, I should just fly back. I reached level 100 on my friends, and they gave me the Black Knight. <laughs> it's like an RPG, like, uh, friendship link. You maxed it out. They gave you a gift.
Hey, Neon, are you good at drawing? <laughs> at this point, it just depends on the day. All of the social medias that I uh, upload drawings to are in my link tree, if you want to give them a gander. Yeah, sometimes I feel good about my art, sometimes I feel bad about my art, but I guess I'm decent enough. I asked Basculin out and it bit me. When are we gonna get a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon dating sim? So that you can, uh, without worry, date the Pokemon. I just, I forgot to grab Defog, the Zubat. I'm an idiot. I went on autopilot, healed up my Pokemon, forgot the reason I went back overall. Pokemon Legends Basculin. Your basculine babe turns to you and says, I want to evolve. You must now go and murder tons of basculine to make them into basculegion. <laughs> and then finally when they evolve, the remaining basculine isn't even your babe, the one in control of the legion. Boom. Boom. All right, Defog. Again, I wonder why they, like, aside, like, the only reason I can imagine that they made HMs a thing is because they wanted to gate progress by the gyms you were doing so that you didn't, like, sequence break. But still, it's an annoying thing. And I still hate them that they put that in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the first one. Oh, hey, a Cypher. I don't think you're gonna survive shit. Eh, we'll just run away. We have to get to the fog. Indigo is gonna murder the fighting guy that's up ahead. Well, first things first, defog. Do the one thing that I named you for. The Zubat turns to me and asks, what's my existence to defog areas? Oh my god, and then there's... Hey, uh, Zubat, can you also learn cut? Please say yes. If not, I'm gonna murder your family. Of course you can't, you stupid little bitch. Hopefully that's an optional d direction. <laughs> well, I don't think they that the Pokemon Company consider adding, like, dating to their Pokemon games. However, they did something like that in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, <laughs> where uh, Brendan and May went. Uh, to Moss Deep City Museum. They went on a date. Good for them. And then suddenly, a level jump of the wild Pokemon. <laughs> then again, isn't Pokemon Mystery Dungeon already like a dating game. I mean, you basically date your partner from the get-go. <laughs> Careful with your pauses next time. I forget where I paused. So I don't know. How dare you survive, you bitch. Get confusioned, asshole. But I will pause where I want. So that someday somebody can edit my videos and cancel me. I've still yet to find a purpose for these shards. I'm going to kill you, small child. By your trial struggling to recover, I'll be already be the winner. Again, that feels like it should be illegal. Oh, you have a big old team. They're not gonna save you. And now my brain went, when the Pokemon company is getting super desperate, they will release an unrated Pokemon game to tap into the porn. 
Funny story, I managed to gaslight the AI Sonic into thinking his name was Sonic Hedelhig. Well, you can gaslight the AI pretty easily. It's not very intelligent. But yeah, like, imagine a universe where the Pokemon company gets desperate and actually releases official Pokemon porn. It would just be such a, such a brain-bending thing to experience. Be gone, pin missling little prick. It's gonna send out Stunky, which is dark poison type. I think charm. Die. Just gotta spread the ability to fight amongst all my team members. And a goal bat, which I believe is flying dark. Well, I just want to see what happens. Ah, not very effective. You can win, Charm. You can win the day. Neon, who's best, Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina? For me, my bias is split between Dialga and Giratina. Giratina, because I really liked Pokemon Platinum when I was a kid, even though I have, like, no memory of it now, and that's why I'm replaying it, partly. And Dialga, because Explorers of Sky is amazing, and I love it. was like it also helps that Giratina kind of has a little bit more interestingness to it because it's like the banished like child of the three <laughs> don't burn and bug Pokemon flap their wings to blow the fog away I guess he's just there to teach you what defog is oh, I was hoping to fight him Sadness. I wanted to beat up a martial arts man. I guess this martial arts child will have to do. I'm going to blow your mind. Psychic attack. <laughs> Giratina used to scare me as a young lad. It can be scary, especially if I recall its introduction properly. As an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. I'm going to drown you. There's a stream right over there. No one's going to find your fucking body. You dipshit. Psychic attack. <laughs> Blows up child with my, my fucking martial arts child. Exactly. Oh, you gonna send out a fucking grottle? Why don't you grottle these nuts? Get screamed at, idiot. Aerial ace! Aerial ass. How dare you survive? Now I'm wondering if there was... <laughs> now my brain went like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. 
but it is like a detective game where you need to solve mysteries. Giraffe or egg, eh? Charm, kill him. Giratina never really scared me. I thought it was cool when I used to see the Pokemon commercials for Platinum. Also, the movies. That reminds me that, like, way, way back when, I remember seeing, like, uh, commercials for, like, uh, The Legend of Spyro. Uh, yeah, The Legend of Spyro. I remember seeing trailers for it, and I did not follow them at all, and I thought Cinder was uh, Spyro's evil mother that he needed to rise up and fight. Every time you say something like, you get screamed, idiot, I just think the meme with the shark, get rotated, idiot. <laughs> Aye, we lost! And you didn't have composure. Die! You must die for your sins of lack of composer. You don't even know music theory! I'm gonna be real, I just knew about them from Skylanders. You are banished to the dark dimension! I had a weird childhood. Me? <laughs> it's weird where I knew of, like, uh... Spyro before, like, uh, Skylanders, but I never actually played his games until later. I never played Skylanders, though, and honestly, I don't think I even knew that Spyro was in Skylanders because he looks so different. He looks like a little gremlin. Jen, watch this. I'm gonna use everything you've taught me. Here comes the trainer, Zach. You ready? Let's do this. They're both gonna be shoved into the water. <laughs> like, really fucking weird. Isn't everybody's childhood weird? Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Everybody is glaring at everybody. Close combat the Raichu because we can. Close combat! And now you're probably gonna die. Are you gonna die, Nova, or will you live? Will you strive on? Nope, you're dead. That's why I figured Thunderbolt <laughs> was basically guaranteed. Skylanders was kind of uh, mid looking back aside from the voice acting, story, and memes, but I have memories of it, damn it. And that's also fair. Memories are quite powerful. Will you die, Raichu, you bitch? Survive, Shine. Hopefully, this kills you. Magical Leaf! Well, because you're part flying type, you bitch! Fine then! Psychic Attack! <laughs> Once again, the world's least useful critical hit. Gyarados, Gyaradon. Your gaping jaw and your worm-like body go to hell. You're a bootleg water onyx. Wow, someone that's not even better than Jin. I just got embarrassed in front of my little buddy here. And I got a lot of money from you. Haha, <laughs> you stupid fucks. Your money is mine, and I will never pay your insurance. <laughs> For some reason, my brain just went He-Man Warriors. 
in the same vein as like Hyrule Warriors. My have the power! Just blast a bunch of enemies. Ding, ding, ding. And now we need to make it all the way back. Samurai Jack. Do -do -do -do. Ah, we made it through. Huzzah! How dare the fog come back so quickly. So, uh, Sword and Shield has a weird glitch where animations of wild Pokemon in uh, the overworld have weird mouths and Gyarados with a closed mouth <laughs> has scared me since. I will never recover. That seems like a hilarious glitch. You seem to have a lot of confidence. Let's see if it's justified. You're not going to survive being thrown off this place. Cypher! Time to die, bitch boy. You're going to be eaten alive. Cannibalism time. Bing, 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 bing. How dare you slash at my bird. And get a crit, you stupid little motherfucker. I'm gonna ring your ass. Your GI track will never be the same. Maluxio. Kill. Time to kill, Shine. Is it really cannibalism, though? Ah, it depends. How come you know Thunderbolt and I don't? You're a bitch. Your family's a whore. Nobody loves you, not even your family. The issue is that if I hit myself in retaliation, you get a Thunderbolt off, I lose. So Charm's gonna swap you up. So that makes me wonder if, like, what is cannibalism in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? More than likely in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, cannibalism would just be eating another sentient being. I swear to God, every Pokemon that encounters you gains emotional damage. What the hell? <laughs> it's not my fault. My enemies are just bastards. Ooh. One thing that I hope, like, going forward with Pokemon is that they use, like, the move system from Legends Arceus. Where you can always just go back to a central location and swap out, like, moves and stuff. Like, your Pokemon learn moves, but they only have certain moves ready. I think that'd be cool. Get high kicked up your ass nose, you little motherfucker. You're gonna die. Nobody's gonna understand that it was you. You were the rubble. And now you're dead. Isn't that every Pokemon game? Not really. Because, in, like, in this game, technically, you need to go and, like, trade heart scales to a guy to be able to do things. Where I vastly prefer being able to just go and be like, hey, diggledy D. These moves are for me. This buff physique isn't just for show. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, don't worry, they kept that. Yay! It is the wonders of the world. Because that is such a wonderful quality of life improvement from Legends Arceus. Because that way, you don't have to super, like, worry about it. You can always come back to him.
Well, you can change them on the go without having to talk to an NPC. That's also true, but, like, uh... If I remember correctly, like, in Legends Arceus... Swapping them out... Oh, you're a little bitch, aren't you? Uh, it's been a bit since I played Legends Arceus, so I forget the exact mechanics. But, you like, you have a power point disadvantage for swapping out in the field. I think. Brain is bleg. It has been so long since I ponder things. Your faint failed, and now you're the one who will faint. Die. You dare poison me? You poison my ass? <laughs> I mean, the combat is relatively similar. I did like the Legends of Arceus combat. I think it was nice. I think some people didn't like it, and they preferred the turn base, but I did like the action economy, like, action line, timeline thing. It was nice. Oh, you gonna send out a goal bat? You gonna, you gonna send out a goal bat? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out a motherfucker to eat you. Who's gonna kill you? No one's gonna find your open-mouthed body? I am going to shove... The stunky into your mouth. Die. Get obliterated, idiot. Oh, you're gonna use Confuse Ray against my Poseidon Lancelot? <laughs> well, it still has turn base. You could just get more or less turns in a row depending on what you do. True. Are we near Celestic? I think so. We're slowly making our way there. I really like the combat in Legends Arceus as well, being able to attack twice in a row. Like the ability for like heavy, I forget, it was like strong style and agile style, that was fun. Game, will you stop being a cunt and actually let me play the game? Confusion should just like not be able to proc twice in a row. Finally! You jerk of a game? You motherfucker! I didn't expect to lose. Nor did you expect to be shoved into the water never to see a family again. No one will find you. No one will care about you. You are going to die alone. The only downside is I have to keep coming back here to heal. <laughs> Somehow, we flew so fast, no poison damage happened to shine while we were flying. Technically, such speeds should have sheared my skin off from the sheer air pressure. It's just like there's so many different kinds of Pokemon games they could do. I just I wonder what they're gonna announce tomorrow. And then the sad thing is, it could just be a simple small direct. It could just be a simple small direct and hardly have anything. Or it could have a lot of things. It's just like, it's so much. So much possibility of either grandness or disappointment. As the way, so much back and forth as the way the Pokemon Company intended. Like, I don't mind back and forth too much. <laughs> but it does come to a point where I'm just kind of like, I would like to continue, please. Bing bong. Bing 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 bong. Kill the Swablu. Kill the Swablu! Yeah. 
Your multi-hit attack means nothing to me. I am now going to swallow you. Your... Oh no, it's singing to me. And now we're just gonna speed through this. It's because we're gonna be here for a while. There we go. The upside of using an emulator. I can actually play the damn game. Finally! Shine is evolving! What the fuck? That was Espeon. Is it not nighttime? What the hell? It is seven o'clock game. <laughs> but that was the tale of Espeon, not Umbreon. Damn it. Well, okay, hmm. Definitely gonna save now. <coughs> Excuse me, Blake. Huh. Once we get to eight o'clock. Well, actually, I'm just gonna look it up now. I'm gonna look up what, like, What do, what do they continue to be nighttime? Night. Uh, now it says nighttime is 6 p.m. to 3.59. Huh. Did my speeding up fuck up the can uh, the time? Let's look at the let's look at the time. What does time do you say, game? 19. Military time. Because, uh, military time, let's see. 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, no, it should be accurate. And this wick, well, then again, it depends on maybe the generation. Could depend on generation. Let me go back to that. Because that's weird. That was definitely Espeon Split Tail. Yeah, because... Then again, that could be, like, maybe Pokemon 2's night, uh, time cycle. Ah, here we go. Night is 8. It Night begins at 8 in Generation 4. Ah, that's why. In Generation 2, night begins at 6. Got you. Okay, misread that. So I'm just an hour away. Gotcha, gotcha. Understandable. Then we'll give Shine the rare candy we have. At least I think we still have rare candy. I'm gonna have to swap them around anyway. <laughs> then why dark? Because it's technically evening. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, he's beginning to evolve! And then see the split tail of Espeon, what the fuck? No son of mine's gonna evolve into an Espeon! That's for the second child! The oldest child of my family! Let's see, is it, is it, is it medicine? No, nope, well, one rare candy, so once we get to eight, then we will use rare candy and evolve the boy. A ninja can use all kinds of skills like this and like that. I know about you, but it's pretty damn dark outside. Don't blame me. Sinnoh just has a weird consideration of time. You're gonna die, Martin. No one's going to find your dead fucking body in the floor. In the floor! The dust! Maybe children in Sinnoh just, uh, oh, it could maybe just be that in Sinnoh, they consider nighttime to be a bit different. In Sinnoh, 
Maybe they get more sun time. And technically this is like dusk. Ooh, Shadow Ball, that'll be perfect for my Umbreon. Fucking nailed it. Like Jesus to the cross. I'll teach you about the charms of bird Pokemon. I'm going to teach you of the charms of fucking Pokemon. God himself cannot save you! Die, Hoot Hoot! Your dual typing damns you! For some reason. Hmm, Noctowl. Who must murder? Charm, get in here! And fuck this bird to death! I want this Twink's penis exploded! I've been reading about Chinese Riddler's hints to what we might, uh, see in tomorrow's Pokemon Direct. Please no, uh, like, uh, rumor or leak anything. I want to be completely surprised. I don't really care much for, like, uh, oh, I am an expert and I'm going to dip it deep. Like, the only thing that, like, I fully understand is, like, the, uh, Generation 5 remakes, and that's because, like, I, I'm fairly certain I even saw the Pokemon official Twitter post out a GIF of, like, a Pokemon from, like, a legendary from Generation 5, so. <laughs> Silver, the shiny female EV, is never going to evolve into anything. I am also going to rename it to be, uh, oh, oh. Argenta, because Silver in Latin is Argent. Ah. Why do you want it to never evolve? How dare you have one fucking HP, you stupid son of a bitch. You whore. You, you stupid fuck. Indigo, come out here and blow this bitch's mind. <laughs> By Tomas Red, that is Argentina. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna commit suicide. I better get that. I better. I better get that experience, you bitch. Good. If I didn't, I was gonna be very upset. Well, that was surprising. Well, that just happened, and now I'm gonna throw you into the waters below, bitch. Whoosh. Let me guess. You're actually a a ninja master. Very well. I've decided. I'll battle one last time. With you, then I'm retiring as a trainer. Why are you gonna retire? What if you win? Or is this just like one more, uh, one more time? If you just continue losing, you'll never retire. Ding, 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 ding. Get aerial aced, spaghetti. One last hurrah. He is the Ebony Warrior from Skyrim, but with Pokemon. Now my brain went to a weird place, and it's just like, what if Pokemon teamed up with Bad Dragon? Hello, everybody. Here is the Mewtwo Fleshlight. I do not control my brain. It goes places without me. Also, I name every Riolu Aurea. Golden in Latin is Orium, and Eevee and Riolu uh, slash Lucario are my big favorites. Eevee is definitely a favorite of mine. The Lucario line is super awesome. The Zorark line is super awesome, especially along with Hisuian Zorark, also super awesome. There's a lot of super awesome, just like awesome Pokemon out there. I've never played Skyrim, is the one where they go, <laughs> Jesse, they need to go. Nope. It is the one where they go, Oh, let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to the knee. In Morrowind... <laughs> in Morrowind, Morrowind is the one they say, You, Inwa. They made a fictional slur.
Also, the reason I don't want my Eevee to evolve is because it is shiny, and all the shiny evolutions just lose their appeal. Understandable. At least I can understand for, like, Espeon. Espeon's shiny is not good. I've lost, but what is this rush I feel? Let me guess, you are gonna continue doing it. Yes, this is fun! Pokemon are fun! Retire! Perish that thought! I'll become a lot tougher next time! Victory is mine! <laughs> now this just makes me think of the Ebony Warrior in Skyrim. He's just like, I am the strongest and I just want to die. He fights the Dragonborn. Wait a minute, fighting's actually a lot of fun. I want to keep fighting. Too late, the Dragonborn killed him. <laughs> yeah, Star Wars made their own slur, Clanker. Is your fictional universe really complete if you don't make up a slur? <laughs> that reminds me of the joke that, uh, it's not even related to anything, like, linguistic. One second. <laughs> uh, but apparently, like, lead throwers are, like, a, still a thing in Star Wars. Normal, everyday guns. So there's the joke of, like, what if... Uh, you just, like, shot a normal lead bullet at a, like, a, a Jedi. They try to block it. The bullet goes through the lightsaber, melts, and the Jedi gets splashed with molten lead. <laughs> oh, hey, I find that offensive. Don't dish shiny Espeon. It is just a very weird color palette. Just neon green. I hate shiny Espeon. It is the only noticeable shiny of the evolutions. I like shiny Umbreon, the blue circles. <laughs> Splatoon's one for carp, uh, for crap is carp. Hilariously, there is a webcomic called House Pets, which is basically if everyday like animals were anthropomorphic, but like still the overall nature of the world, like, ah, you own them as pets, but then they're kind of children rather than property, but they're still technically legally property. That's actually a story arc, but, like, instead of saying crap, they say carp in that as well. The people of the community, uh, treat it in the same regard. Just the N-word. <laughs> Clanker. The Eternal One, Sylveon, is right there. Oh, yeah, Sylveon has good, good, uh, shiny. Captain Cuttlefish is canonically racist. Well, he's old enough to be, I guess. Hmm, who should... Oh, where we got past the fog. We can bring in the Amp again. Well, since we're talking about slurs, let's go back to Pokemon racism. I wonder what... <laughs> what in-universe slur would be for, like, each... Typing. I wonder if there would be unique derogatory names for, like, dual typing Pokemon. <laughs> he makes many racist innuendos to Marina an Octoling. Oh, that's kind of terrible. As a clown, I like to show off Pokemon that are a little out of the ordinary. Want to battle and see for yourself? Okay, shall we do this? Shall we do something fantastical? And now, now for some reason, my brain went to a, a very old comic from the internet that's a parody of uh, The Little Mermaid, where it's like, uh, But Grisby, eight legs, seven vaginas. <laughs> Thanks, Grisby. Imagine. Uh, maybe more. <laughs> Thanks, Grisby. Um, just imagine. <laughs> Captain Cuttlefish, because he's a war vet and all. I can't find a good 3DS emulator, and I don't own a 3DS Gen 6 Pokemon game, so Sylveon is gone for me. I am trying to beat the games in order. The one that I use, I believe, is called Citra. Although, getting the... 
like actually being able to like dump the ROMs and stuff from 3DS legally is still a thing. Well, that's a fancy animation. Of course, there's always the <laughs> try to find the ROMs online if you're a daring pirate sailing the seas. Citra's not working for me at all. Hmm. That's a bit odd. Granted, it depends on, like, the version of Citra you're running and the game. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Yeah, it's like, here's a piece of useless trivia. Fear of clowns is also known as colorophobia. That's a perk in uh, uh, Dead by Daylight. But yeah, with Citra, like, even just normally updating the emulator can just drastically change, like, the quality of your emulation. <laughs> So, definitely fair on it not working for you. <laughs> Anything is legal when there are no cops around! Grunkle Stan. I just want to play the AS ports of Oros. From my experience, 3DS games are tricky to emulate. I think I found the perfect balance of, like, things for Citra. Like, <laughs> I ran... Because, like, I do plan on playing uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon gates to infinity on Citra because I cannot record my 3DS because I only have like an early-ish generation 3DS but it isn't like the super duper old but it was before like the new 3DS and stuff so even if I did like uh, mod my 3DS I wouldn't be able to do the ooh stream the 3DS to computer thing that you can do on some of them and, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm forced to <laughs> record any 3DS footage from Citra. But I have ran a few little tests of just watching, like, the intro and listening for any, like, hiccups of the thing. And I think I found the perfect balance of settings. And I'm not touching Citra at all. I'm not changing any settings. And I'm not updating it until I beat <laughs> Gates to Infinity. <laughs> Or unless you want to be one of those people who tries to find the 3DS recording equipment. <laughs> Which is one of the biggest hassles. Yeah, because back in the day, there was like three different people slash companies that were making 3DS capture cards. One of them was like a single person, but you needed to mail your 3DS to them to then them take apart, install the thing, and mail it back. Another one was you buy a whole new 3DS from some of them. But then by the time I started, like, streaming re uh, decently, all pretty much all of them went bye-bye, and plus, I, there is really no financial incentive for me to have gotten one at the time anyway. <laughs> like, even now, even now that I'm, like, streaming with a schedule, I, it wouldn't be financially reasonable of me to get, like, a 3DS capture card. Or a 3DS with that can be captured. It's just much better to just buy the game, get the ROM, and play it on the emulator. Uh, the tax collector! You found me! Fear the palindromes, words that are the same forwards and backwards, is Ibophobia. <laughs> Why is it that people that are like, oh, you're afraid of this thing? We're gonna make the thing you're afraid of at the phobia name. One of the longest words uh, Hippopotomonstroasquibilidiophobia is the name of the fear for long words. Yep. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he'll blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish the spaceman with my Pokemon. Why don't you send out your Pokemon anyway? Have them, uh, fuck them to death. Like the Pokemon days of old. Hey, do you know what they say? They say a Pokemon created by the Sinnoh... A Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. A Pokemon created the world, kid. His name is God. I must bear down and train, and for that time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. <laughs> Analog watch. 
That is hilarious. How could a person be afraid of long word? That's dumb. Well, the brain is weird. Some people are just afraid of certain things. There's no Pokemart in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in this house here. Do they have a license for that? Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks too. Deep, man. So would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? <laughs> Black glasses. The sunlight is bright in the day. How about a pair of black glasses? Black glasses raise the power of dark type moves. Hey, that'll be perfect for the boy. Welcome, what do you need? Gun. I need a gun to kill God. Speaking of poke traps, fly time. Ooh, does that mean that the present has a new app for me? Hmm, timer ball. I guess I can buy a few quick balls. Yeah, I'll buy 10 quick balls for just like to try and then timer ball. I'll buy five for like if it gets long in the tooth. We'll deal with you in a minute, jackass. Howdy, studying up on local history. I'm gonna shoot your family. That is the local history. I made the local history. Mount Coronet towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky and to space in this region. <laughs> it is a useless app. In a way, a lot of the apps are useless. Where are you from? Hmm, Twinleaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Veredi? The lake is said to be the home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. That Pokemon may well be watching over you. Would you like to know more about Mesprit? Sure. Mesprit is the legendary Pokemon that symbolizes the emotions. Beside it are also Yuxi, the being of knowledge, and Azelf, the being of willpower. These three Pokemon are said to have, uh, to have strong and compassionate spirits. The power of their spirits maintains the natural balance of Sinnoh. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myths. Were things different back then, or were they the same as now? She says that's the focus of her research. It's an old book. When that time, when that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, spurring us into action. And that is how war happened. Cynthia? Probably. The king! Neon, the king of escalating things really quickly. That's the only way to do things in this town. Oh, it tells you if somebody's using the internet nearby. <laughs> oh, a dragon fang. <laughs> Among Us! Funnily, uh, that is kind of how I reacted to a voice line in uh, <laughs> Assassin's Creed one time. I was playing like Assassin's Creed 1, and a character in the background said, Among Us, and I immediately just said, <laughs> screamed, Among Us! I think it was funny. This town is insignificant, there's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb! If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle! So what's it going to be? Are you gonna mess with me? You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world! No. The universe, even! The universe is among us? And it has a big dick? Ding, 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 ding. Get sparked, idiot. My cat is better than your dog. Haha, -ha, you died, idiot. Moron! Oh, you're gonna send out a Golbat? I'll kill your Golbat, too! Your Golbat's gonna fucking die! We're gonna have roast Golbat tonight! What happened to your other Pokemon? You had a Stunky before- or was it a- yeah, was it a Stunky? I forget. All you Team Galactic types, you all just melt together with your stupid 
Mo Howard ball cut. Someone tell Galactic Grunt the news. He's gonna die. We're gonna shove the Galactic Bomb up his ass. I just got worked over and by a kid, no less! Too much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing! I'll happily be rid of this place! Oh, you are magnificent, aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm, may I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Handed over the old charm to the elder. This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're a Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? <laughs> that made more sense of the previous chat message, but that works too. <laughs> Ah. Mysterious designs cover the whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere. What is this all about? They're about to have an orgy. The cave painting's meaning seems to be this. There existed beings. Being so powerful, they were considered deities at the, at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with either being as if they formed a pyramid. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I would like to... I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who might you be? A bitch. My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I'm seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? Because I live here! As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Is that Steven Rock? Hit character from the games Pocket Monster, Red Crystal, Blue Crystal, and Green Crystal? Oh, never mind, it's Emo Man. How dare you be the sole holder of a Sneasel? How dare you ice punch my cat? Get sparked, idiot. I do find it funny that we are defending a cave painting. Quit ice punching my cat! And you freeze my cat, you motherfucker. I don't make friends with my Pokemon, they immediately tool, said the man with the crowbat. <laughs> he is a weird little man. Use your hyper potion too soon, motherfucker! Oh, I. For some reason, my brain wasn't in a weird place. For some reason, my brain keeps mixing up dark type and psychic types, like typing things. I don't know why. Either way, I guess. Ba -ba -da. 
My brain just gets jumbled sometimes. I do not know why. Cyrus' Spotify playlist consists of anime emo music, nothing else. I don't know, maybe he has some My Chemical Romance in there. Well, I would send him Amp, but Amp is frozen. If I remember correctly, fighting does nothing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You are too young to exist in this world. Go back to ancient college school. My Chemical Romance was the classical emo band of the age. Way, way, way ago. Quit using air cutter and get new hippie haircut for your goal bat. Why do you keep getting critical hits, you bitch ass motherfucker? I'm gonna have Shadow the Hedgehog piss on your wife! I have hyper potions, and I can use them liberally. You're too busy running a company. I'm busy spending all my capital on drugs. That is their official name. Yeah, the, the drugs. You have to say it like that legally. It's in the uh, terms of use. Why do you all motherfuckers live with one HP? Stab him in the face with your heel. And you're gonna send out a Murkrow, huh? Again, Amp, if only you weren't frozen. Murkrow is dark flying, I believe. Hmm. I will send out Nova, and if worse comes to worse, we'll then send out Lancelot. You forced my hand this time. Well, really, I think I forced your bird. Aerial Ace! <laughs> I'm now in Canalave City, preparing to kill Barry and then get Riolu. Riolu will soon be mine, and I will probably swap out Charm to get him. Probably. The Sonic Adventure Life End Dub is my favorite species. The Snapcube live uh, fan dubs are fun. They're a fun time. Ah, you can use Surf to Cantilave after this battle. Neat. Impressive. Your prowess is something that I couldn't say because my words went by too fast. You're a slow little bitch-ass motherfucker. You're too slow. You're not Sonic the Hedgehog. You're Eggman. Die. Remarkable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. And then he teleported out of here. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people and Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take it. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. <laughs> I miss my wife, Tails. I miss her a lot. I'll be back. If a Pokemon learns surf, it can carry you across water in the sea. You've been a great help. That's my thanks for it. There are more known things like I'm pissing on the moon, but also less known things that deserve more recognition, such as the, well, why are your tits one polygon? <laughs> why you got hot sauce on your head, cuz? There's a lot of just like 
underrated lines from the fan dubs. The Shadow of the Hedgehog one that sticks in my head a lot is just like, I'm th the devil from Bible. And eh, bing bong. <laughs> I forget the line after that. My brain is mush right now when I stream. I'm getting too over, uh, my too much information flowing through brain. Was everything all right here? You saw those strange people with the galactic bomb, didn't you? But those team galactic people, I thought they were harmless. They have been mugging me since day one, Cynthia. They blew up the marsh. Would you not listening to berries talking to me? Are you dumb? Are your little horns coming off your head blocking your ears? The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But there's surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? There was like only one painting in there. If you're interested, there's a library in Candlelave City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up some history there. Ooh, we're definitely going to read there. It might help you your po complete your Pokedex, too. The quickest way to Candlelave is to go west from Jubilee City. <laughs> uh, uh, bing bong, you're doing a bad job. That's it, yes. I know I'm doing a bad job. Hatsune Miku! I actually need to sit down and watch more of the live dubs. For one of my favorite things from them, though, from Snapcube and their little live dub group, is the Sonic Destruction dubs. Ah, uh, back when... Like... Back when AI writing was... Dumb and stupid and not a danger to the universe. Well, let's see. What move are we gonna forget for Surf? Hmm. Huh. It swamps the entire battlefield with a giant wave. can also be used for crossing water. It's actually not bad to replace Bubble Beam, maybe? Then again, maybe I should get rid of Pound, because, like, I'm never... Yeah, because Pound is normal. I'm never gonna really use it. So, yeah, I'd say Pound as well. <laughs> Cynthia, they are terrorists. Is it just to make you get a monopoly on Pokemon? <laughs> I'm back in the fucking building again! I really need to rewatch the Snapcube stuff. The fact that the Sonic 06 fan dub beats out the Adventure 2 fan dub by 1 million views scares me. It could be that because the Adventure dub happened like a, a bit ago a lot of people absorbed the adventure dub through memes and stuff and then the snap cube was more well known by the time they did 06 so more people were there to catch it live and boost up its numbers i'm going bye well thank you for joining us today i hope uh whatever day night or wherever you are goes good <laughs> see you wednesday yes at 5 p.m central standard time as well as potentially an upload of the Pokemon Day tomorrow, right? And, um, wait a minute. My brain's all over the place. Like, <laughs> Honestly, one of the people that dub now collaborates with Life Hero. Yep, Paper Box House. I go everywhere with my Noctowl. We're gonna show you our best. Ha! My, my, my amp is going to, uh, crash your plane of a pun. Honestly, your pun was quite plain. Z All of you are going to die in five minutes. Get obliterated, Noctowl. Hmm. One second. My dog seems to be barking. And we are back. I just had to make sure that wasn't my dog. 
making weird noises for some reason. Nope, it was the neighbor's dog, of which I didn't know they had a dog, so that's why he was like, oh, that's weird. I'm strong, 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 I'm strong. Am I really? No, I'm strong, I'm strong. Okay, I'm going, all good to go. Ah, you stole me good. I think you'll understand what I was doing when you see this TM. Now we have TM, yay. Blug. Basically, your Pokemon gets the same status boost as its target. Hmm. Oh. Huh. So it's like strength just. Hmm. So is strength just like a TM now? I thought it was. Huh. Oh, did he not give it to me? Am I, am I dumb? Am I being dumb? I think I might be dumb. I'm very, very dumb, I probably am. Because he was saying strong again and again and again. Maybe he didn't give it to me. Black. But it's just like the strength thing right here, so I'm just losing my mind. Fight me, man. Whilst exploring the ruins, I spotted a traitor. I must investigate. These aren't even the ruins. I've been thrown off my groove. Not the bronze war. The war of the bronze. The war for bronze. Get obliterated, bronze man. Why does his face look like Giovanni? Well, he had to go do something while he went on vacation. He's gonna send out another bronze ore. Is that all you have, Harry? Harry Dresden. Oh, you're gonna iron your defense? Why don't you steal your defense? <laughs> Giovanni taking it easy in disguise as an old man. Giovanni taking it easy disguised as an e-girl with programmer socks. Your critical hit is more like a critical shit. This is my world, and you do not belong in my world! Another fucking bronze whore. More like a bronze whore. Become melted down into a dildo. Now my brain went in the Pokemon world with all the real Pokemon, which one would be the most sexually used? Gen 3 pseudo legendaries are my favorite, Salamence and Metagross. I never really understood pseudo legendaries. Are, is it just because they're rare? It's just to me, they're Pokemon. And then there's the legendaries. Prepare to die, little bronze man. All you have is eyes. Ooh, Thunderfang. Honestly, I might get rid of charge because I never use it. 65, but 95. May also cause flinch or paralysis. Huh. Hmm. Really? You seem kind of redundant. I might get rid of charge just because I can, but it's just like... It's the same amount of damage as spark, but just... Hmm. No, it's because their stats are almost on par with legendaries. Ah. Hmm. Because I never really use charge. Because my mindset is always, why begin to do an attack 
when you can just attack twice, so I'll get rid of charge. Kind of weird that it has a base 95 accuracy, though. My investigation has revealed the trainer is tough. Ouch. Now give me your money. And there's a ninja over there. We're gonna head back. Oh yeah, what, what is it that you said again? Oh, psych up. <laughs> For some reason I thought he was talking about strength because the strength ball boulder was right there. But no, I guess, cause, not to mention he always saying, I am strong, I am strong, which I figured would come from strength, but no, it's come from psych up. Understandable. I am a fool. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Almost time for Umbreon. Yep, in five minutes, he's going to get a special candy. He'll evolve into a god. If this was Generation 6, we'd make him into a Sylveon. Make him learn baby doll eyes. So that he can become a darling Sylveon. I need to draw my Sylveon self again. My Pokesona. Maybe I should, before the night is out, like, draw my Pokesona with <laughs> making baby doll eyes, hoping for a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the thumbnail of my video upload reaction of the Pokemon Day Direct Tomorrow. Carbos! I'm gonna eat so much cardboard! Doot, 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 do. You're not real. You're just a fuck. Huh, <laughs> oh, is that your Pokesona? That's kind of cringe. You're cringe! And then they go sob in the mirror because they don't even have the, a Sona at all. They don't have a Persona. They're just a fake little hollow shell of a human being. Also, pseudo-legendaries need an evolution line of three Pokemon, and for some reason, Game Freak can't seem to think of anything but to make most of them Dragon-type Pokemon. I wonder why. That's weird. Haha, <laughs> I'm psyched for this. Here goes. I'm going to break your psyche with a psychic type. Ah. Hey, <laughs> I'm Krogunk. <laughs> your penis is about to be mine. Psychic. Well, dragons are cool. That they are. There needs to be an EV pseudo-legendary. Although that is kind of weird that, like, the pseudo-legendary needs to be of e evolution line of three Pokemon. That seems a little specific, don't you think? I don't have a persona. I'm gonna have to die now. Oh, yeah, I die. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Die, Metatite. You stupid little bitch. You have the brain size of a walnut. And I cracked it with my nutcracker. And now we're gonna do the dance of the sugar plum fairy type. We're gonna take his guts. Psychic attack! Bye bye, Machoke. I want you to Machoke on these nuts. I don't get why I can't win. It's because you're a shitty ripoff of Ryu. Why don't you put on some ruby slippers, have no combos, and be a family man?
<laughs> one minute to Umbreon. At least I think, actually. Well, just in case, save state. And... <laughs> Why Ruby Slippers? Because in Ryu's first appearance, he had, like, red, uh, like, red, like, uh, martial arts slippers. Here you go, Shine. Shine is evolving! Do, 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 do. And there he is! The Prince of Darkness! Shaking his ass all over the place! There we go. Now my preliminary team until Riolu is fully evolved. Huzzah! Bum, 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 bum. But that is extra interesting. Now I know that uh, any time before 8 is technically daytime. <laughs> Is Umbreon a permanent member? Probably. <laughs> I was wondering why I did so much damage, because it was a critical hit. I'll have to, like, look at my team, because... Amp, I think, is a permanent member. Lancelot's a permanent member. Indigo is a permanent member, probably. Nova is probably a permanent member due to Fly. Really, I think Charm is might be the most expendable. Maybe. Because she's just pure normal type. And if it weren't for the fact that it's a bit difficult to, like, swap between Pokemon... <laughs> I'll be heading out. Hope you have a good night. Sleep well. And hope you enjoy the Pokemon Day tomorrow. I do a really weird thing each gen where I only use new Pokemon my first run. No, that's fair. That's a fair enough way to do things. Better than me where I'm just like, I want to go back to my favorite Pokemon, and then I never use any new ones. I like to use new Pokemon. Who, who knows? Maybe I'll find a new favorite. Yeah! Meanwhile, I just go by vibes. Usually I'll go with Pokemon I like already. But, like, if a new Pokemon comes along and they look cool, I'll be like, yeah, sure. I forget. Scropey, you're, you're a ground type, aren't you? Like, dark ground or something? Or is that your evolution? Well, let's give it a shot, why don't we? Ah, so it's probably your evolution that's dark ground. Because for some reason, I think your evolution is a ground type. I don't know. Are you a bug type, actually? Because you are a scorpion. I don't know. I think you might be able to go to Lake Valor now. But we're gonna get Riolu first. Bug poison, Scropey. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't care for the restrictions of only new ones in black and white. Which I also kind of like, because then it forces you like it's a new Pokemon adventure. It's Generation 1, but new. Drapion is dark poison. Yeah. Interesting. For some reason, my brain was going ground-type, ground-type, and I don't know why. Psychic Blast! I want that Toad's penis exploded. I did a lot to conceal myself, too. And then you failed. Your little surprise attack is nothing to me, you stupid little shit. You little fuck! Commit Sapoku right now! <laughs> we <laughs> gave the same feeling of whimsy and wonder that Jin 1 had. Yeah, we're gonna head through Mount Coronet that we can just because we can. Can't go up because we lack strength. Well, we do have escape rope. If we want to escape life, oh, we can't leave it all. Well, then we're gonna head to Canalave then. Because let me quickly check me map. I'm gonna check me map. 
because, yep, we can go to Canalave and then probably Iron Island. So more than likely, we'll check out Canalave City and then prep to go to Iron Island next so that we can get the boy. Here comes the boy. He is the boy. I love this sparkly emoji because it's so sparkly. Indeed. <laughs> but yeah, considering that... Alright, we'll heal, then we'll fight them. But considering that charm is basically my normal fighting type, I'll probably swap her out for Riolu when we get him. And hey, at least that means I won't have to worry about... Evolving him into Lucario too much, since it's just, a uh, High friendship during the day, past a certain level. If I had any ability, it would be the ability to say emojis out loud, and not just say crab emoji, I mean just say it and the image appears. That would be amusing. Hi, can we feature you in a news piece we're doing? All you have to do is battle with me. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass, and then I'm gonna throw some pocket sand in your face. Oh, it's not even a double battle. You bitch. You bitch-ass bitch. You have no honor. Die. You are going to die cold and alone. No... Aftermath is evil. <laughs> Aria has been obtained for me. Congratulations. Depending on the, like, uh, unless it's, like, gender-locked, it probably is. I'll probably call him Silas in honor of Silas. <laughs> Mainly because I find the meme format of live horse reaction horse funny. Can be. It is mildly amusing. Get psychic, idiot. You're very confused, little kitty cat. How dare you swagger me anyway, you bitch. <laughs> My Riolu is not shiny, thankfully. God, if only I was that psychotic to be like, we're going to shiny hunt the steel island, iron island uh, <laughs> Riolu egg. The media is the victim. I'm gonna blow up the media. Like in that disturbed music video. To get people to open up, we approach them honestly with no hidden tricks. It's like the relationship between Pokemon and trainers, isn't it? Does that mean that you have like a pet kink? Or do you think that people are only open with their their pets? <laughs> do it. If only I was that psychotic. Oh, I do not like shiny uh, Riolu Lucario. I don't mind it myself. It kind of has a charm to it, though it depends on how it's, like, actually shown. The actual specific things. Shiny hunt it. Like, if I... I don't know. If I was actually a big, big ol' big ol' streamer, I probably would. Ah, uh, Link Searcher. It's useless to me. Yeah, like, if I was a bigger streamer, probably. But for me, I just want to play the game and have fun, and shiny hunting really isn't my passion. <laughs> I'm a degenerate shiny hunter. <laughs> also, it is an egg Pokemon, so no gender lock. Ooh, interesting. All right, Amp, prepare to murder the waves. Never mind. I guess we're just gonna murder these fishermen. Outdoor fishing for the win! Shouting doesn't help my fishing any, but I shout I must! Do -do 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 -do. But yeah, like, if I was a big ol' streamer that's just like, I can sit down and stream nine hours a day on my dedicated stream days, then I would probably shiny hunt for the Pokemon I really, really want.
but because I am but a simple hobbyist. Nah. Explosion. We exploded that Gyarados. He's gonna send another Gyarados to die. I, mean, I just don't have it in me to shiny hunt. Like, <laughs> maybe that should be a donation goal. If I actually, ha like, set up a donation thing. If I get the thousand dollars, I'll shiny hunt. And then in ten years, we'll get there. A penny a day unlocks the shiny hunt day. <laughs> Ultra Sun and Moon is fun to hunt, in my opinion. Ooh, neat. It's always interesting when they, like, change how shiny hunting feels. Ah, <laughs> uh, but with the egg Pokemon, no gender lock, but still mostly male. <laughs> that just is how it is, <laughs> I suppose. Just because of the variety soft resets, SOS chaining eggs, random encounters for Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, interesting. Get fanged, idiot. Let me guess, you just have Remoraid. You just have normal fish Pokemon. <laughs> Call in Jaden and go to the bath go for go on a bathroom break. And then get all the shiny luck. Ah, Jaden would never hang out with me. I am but a loser. I don't have the subscribe account to be important enough. I'll never be on her non-existent podcast. I'm not pokey tubery enough for her. <laughs> pokey tuber club. Let's see if we can annihilate him with a psychic. How dare you live? Psychic attack! Get obliterated, idiot. And another Remoraid. You shall be destroyed by the power of magical leaves. That good Kush. Weed. You will die through the power of weed smoke inhalation. And another Remoraid. So it's just like Remoraid, 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 Gyarados. It's like Duck, Duck, Goose, but for uh, fishermen Pokemon. Can't catch a fish! Can't catch a break! Yeah, but you deserve it, you silly little fisherman. Hello, sailor. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokémon! <laughs> I can steal for like three more minutes. Well, I guess we'll get to the city, at least read the library, and then we'll end the stream, probably. And then next time, we can go to Iron Island. <laughs> Jaden and I both have ridiculous shiny luck sometimes. Meanwhile, I don't think I've ever had a, like, ever since, like, that one time, a long, long time ago, ever since I, like, started playing Pokemon again, especially on stream, I don't think I've ran into a shiny. Just how it goes sometimes. How about you choke on these God of War nuts? Get brain blasted, idiot. Anchors away! Oh no, he's gonna sink himself to the bottom of the sea as Sopoku. Let it rock, it's the rhythm of battle! Well, are you sure it's not the rhythm of your irregular heartbeat? 
why do you have a bug? That bug must die, for it is shit. Die, bug man. Die unto hell. We will electrocute the bug to death. You know, bugs should die to electricity bug types. Because, you know, bug zappers. And the gym battle. Well, the gym battle will be next time. Along with going to Iron Island. You're gonna send out a Magnemite? Uh, Charm, come in here. You'll kick this uh, motherfucker to death. Bugs should be weak to everything except radiation type. The Fallout, uh, the Fallout Pokemon game. The only reason that would never happen is because Bethesda doesn't keep records. They'd write down on the whiteboard, meeting with Nintendo, and then nobody would know it was happening. Then Nintendo would send their nin ninjas to assassinate Todd for besmirching their honor. And nobody would hear from Todd again. Give me all the berries. Give me all the berries. Give me all the berries that I'll never ever plant. <laughs> Poor Todd. He had his chance. Then he joined the chess club. Hi, hey, Lucas's father. Neon, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm Professor Owen's assistant and Lucas's father. The professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see, so I cha chosen this spot on a, <laughs> on a hunch that you'd pass through. Neon, may I see? Have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see. Ah, was I supposed to put it in the software here? Chunk, chunk. All done. I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? It can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on your project for the professor. May I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilee City. It's probably nothing to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Now we can look at Pokemon dicks. Boy, I sure am thirsty. I mean, I guess I could get you some water, but I don't care to. I wonder which one of these buildings is the library. Well, maybe this is it? No, Harbor Inn. The text is too faded to read. Oh, is this that, uh... Like, quest building? Barry, I don't want to fight you. Hey, Neon! You're supposed to, you're going to challenge the gym leader up past her, huh? Someone check see if you're ready to challenge this gym. That someone is me with my brand new gym badge! I didn't want to fight you. I <laughs> remember M's forbidden siblings. You sent out the wrong one, motherfucker. Amp time! Now my brain went because we got our diddly D updated. The world of Pokemon totally has Pokeporn magazines, don't they? The sexiest Gardevoir. Pokemon lingerie. Lopunny in a in a bunny suit. Is this just how we're always gonna meet? You're gonna send out Staraptor, I'm gonna send out Amp. Shiny Lucario and Shiny Espeon would be in Peavy's arsenal of ins for- I forgot who he's gonna send out. Uh, Nova! Oh, you're sending out your Rapidash, you, you little horse. <laughs> because P only grabs the yellow Pokemons. 
Bye bye, Rapidish. And it's going to send out Heracross. Fighting Bug, I believe. Which means you're going to fucking die. Oh, hello, Heracross. Die. Four times weakness. Get obliterated, idiot. And you're going to send out your Torterra. And I'm going to annihilate them. Aerial Ace! Oh, sure. Throw your leech seed. You'll get a little bit of health back, and then I'll obliterate you. And now my brain went... Like, in the world of Pokemon, there's totally a thing of sexy Pokemon battles, isn't there? Oh, you're, you're not doing any withdrawing. Huh. I expected you to begin withdrawing by now, but you didn't. You've decided to die. I respect that. And you feed my Nova. And once again, I get a critical hit right at the end. That doesn't matter. It always happens like this. And you're gonna send out your Floatzel? Hmm. I'll send out Indigo and see if it lives. You show this Floatzel your big gamer dick. We've gone out of tighter spots than this plenty of times before. I do not believe you. Magical Leaf. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that it can no pursuit. Please be a crit and take it down in one hit. Damn it. We're not done yet. Neither me nor my Pokemon have given up. Watch, now that I swap to Amp, he's going to heal his Pokemon. We're going to obliterate this Floatzel. In the name of Indigo. Spark. Why would you use Swift? It's a sure thing to hit, but doesn't do much damage. Get obliterated, Floatzel. You will never beat me, Barry. You will never beat me. Never. Never in a million years. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Always, Barry. Always. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual, but listen up! Let me tell you who's gonna take on the Pokemon League and become the champion! You guessed it right! It's gonna be me! Anyway, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train at Iron Island! That's what I did before going to the gym. I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon, and then we're gonna look at all the buildings to find uh, the library. I need warm milk and honey. That's how sick I am. The cure-all. I don't think I've ever had milk and honey. I like milk and honey and, like, tea is nice. Then again, I, I like chocolate milk. Because I am a big Sylveon baby. I still need to make, like, try to make a Sylveon v uh, PNG tuber set. Because I think that would be cool for my Pokemon streams. This ain't a library. This ain't a library. This is some nice music. Oh, is this the library? Can I leave library? Where's the polka porn section? Hello, this is the Canelave Library. Please be keep quiet while you're in the premises. The ceiling high bookshelves are crammed with books. The shelves are lined books worn from being read by many people. What is it? Please don't disturb me while I'm reading. I'm going to now annoy you like SpongeBob does Squidward. You fucker. Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into this building. 
Like, are, are, are any of these actually readable? I'd like to read. The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. Is that it? <laughs> Someone always checked out the book I want to read. This book is titled Sino Myth. Sino Myth. Betray not your anger, lest <laughs> will come. Weep not with sorrow, or <laughs> will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come natural as the very air, that is happiness. Let such be blessed by the hand of master. <laughs> Those words were spoken often as customary. So remember, kids, have sex if you're Pokemon to bring joy. Sinnoh Region's Mythology. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others as all to always be ready to help humans. It asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass. Sinnoh's Myth. I think we already read it. Yep. Oh, three of the Pokemon to the lakes they dove. Deep and deep, drawing no breath. Deeper, deeper they dove. Into suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they alight. From the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands they rise again. Veilstone's Myth. A young man, callow and foolish and innocence, came to own a sword. With it he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Larders grew bare. Would you like to keep reading? The young man, seeking the missing Pokemon, journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? Because you're killing them all, bitch. To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword to bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be, to guard ourselves, and for it I apologize. To the skies, the young man shouted his dismay. And having found the sword, I have lost so much gorge with power, I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never force savage again this sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it, seeing as the Pokemon disappeared. To a place beyond seeing. Oh, so no folk stories. Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in the sea or stream. Thank them for the meals they provide, and pick their bones clean. When the bones are clean as can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return fully fleshed, and it begins anew. Part 2. There lived a Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awaken the human dawns the Pokemon hide to roam villages. Huh. There once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. There were once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish the two. A horrific myth, sure. Look not into the Pokemon's eyes. In but an instant, you'll have no recollection of who you are. Return home, but how, when there is nothing to remember? Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. In but three short days, all emotions will drain away. Above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In a scant five days, the offender will grow immobile in entirety. The original story. In, in the beginning, there was only a churning turmoil of chaos. At the heart of chaos, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having tumbled from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the original one. From itself two beings, the original one did make. Time started to spin. Space began to expand. From itself again, three living beings, the original one did make. The two beings wished, and from them matter came to be. The three living beings wished, and from them spirit came to be. The world created, the original one took to unyielding sleep. <laughs> the Pokemon Marriage Book. Thus proving humans are Pokemon. And thus, <laughs> they eat at the same table, they sleep in the same bed. Doth they fuck. 
But that shall be it for now. You missed my other message? I don't think so. Yeah, poor Todd. Remember his ends forbidden siblings? Shiny Lucario. More milk and honey. The cure-all. Pokemon marriage. I believe I read it all. Unless I'm blind. But I do believe that that will be it for now. Oh, no, I did read that. The Pokemon marriage book. Perhaps I didn't say it out loud. Brain's mush. That shall be it. We evolved a lot of Pokemon today. We literally evolved everybody. Somehow. We got to Canalave City just away from grabbing the Riolu egg. Of which... Hmm. Is it not showing for you? No. Because it is the cure-all, the Pokemon marriage book, then you missed my other message. Weird. Never seen that happen before. No, it's not set to top messages. It's normal messages not showing up. But yes, that shall be it for now. We did a lot. We went. We beat Crash Awake. Terrorism happened. We actually fought Cyrus. We evolved everybody. Got to Cantalave City, just close to Iron Island. And... Yeah, next time we'll take on this next gym, get the- well, first we'll get the Riolu egg, and then I'll probably walk around like a madman to hatch the Riolu egg, so that we can begin leveling the poor boy. Bubba bot Yeah, this was fun. This was a fun time. Sometimes it doesn't feel like a lot happened, but it was a magical little journey. Pokemon is the kind of game sometimes where you play it and then you just kind of vibe out. But then when I actually get to grinding, my brain starts to hurt for some reason. But, yeah, tomorrow's going to be the blah blah blah. Ah, it, the message says, I have yet to find a sickness that can't be cured by warm milk and honey. <laughs> Stage 4 cancer? Warm milk and honey, then sleep. If only it worked like that. And the world would be grand. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be the Pokemon Day Direct. I'm gonna try and get up early and experience it. Record my reaction to it so that I can then upload it for everyone to enjoy. Hopefully it'll have a lot of things to enjoy, hopefully. Still kind of funny that they want to do it super in the morning. Then again, maybe in Japan time, it's actually decent. Well, good night. See everyone Wednesday. You too. Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Because I'm trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Keep a good schedule. B -b -b -t -t -t. Yeah. I guess before I go... Here is... The art I did doth drew. <laughs> the meme image of Cresselia. You should disappear now. Which again, hilarious. That they just keep using the word disappear and all that. And then a alternate version. <laughs> you should make a you should release a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game now. <laughs> of which they really should. I'll be here. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, which is linktr.ee slash neonicywings with direct links in any description, bio, and link place on the various sites, will have links to all the things that I do, like edited content YouTube videos, these uploaded videos of these streams for 
posterity history and just everyone can watch them in good quality. Live streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Various art websites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and more linked in there. Writing sites that I throw up my various stories that I'm writing, mostly fanfic. Right now I'm still working on my 11-chapter Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story so that I can then return to my big, big frickin' probably 100-plus chapter Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story because I can't do anything there. <laughs> now set it for the thumbnail of that video. I probably should. <laughs> I'll be back on Wednesday, hopefully with a shiny Feebas. <laughs> Knowing you, you'll probably get a shiny Feebas. <laughs> Before I even get to a normal Sheba <laughs> normal Feebas. But... And aside from my writing art streams and YouTubes and art... I forget if I said art once, so art twice and thrice even. If you want to feel... If anybody's feeling exceptionally kind... My Patreon is always there in my link tree as a tipping jar for people to throw a dollary do or two my way in these dark and evil times. But yes, but yes. Next time we will continue with more Pokemon Platinum and work our ways towards being able to play G Gates to Infinity sometime in the future. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Remember to be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Thank you very much, everybody, and good night. <laughs>